everyone, welcome to Call of the Netherdeep here on Dork Tales, back again, and uh, I am excited to be getting into Chapter 5. We did it, we pretty much beat Chapter 4, uh, and I say good riddance because that chapter is poop. Um, Alright, so some quick updates. Uh, right before we started, Chris, you asked me a very important question about your hit points, uh, because you have how many hit points? 68. Uh, cool. Uh, by the law of the land, you may have one additional hit point. Yes! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> all right because we like to play nice here um correct all right so folks welcome to call of the nether deep uh we are moving on deeper into the plot moving into the drowned city of kale moro today most likely um but uh before we do that i think we should probably introduce ourselves so hi I'm your dungeon master, Kelly. Are you seeing him? And I am very excited to be continuing with the module and getting really into the meat and potatoes of this. I was reviewing this information today, and man, <sighs> Netherdeep's like fourth chapter, it just kind of like the book kind of dips. But when you hit five, ooh, it starts singing again. And I'm actually real excited. I'm really excited. And I hope that you have a great time with us. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick round of introductions, any quick announcements that we have, and then we're going to jump into game. Let's start with Robin. Hello, I'm Robin. I use she, her pronouns, and so does my character, Keiko Scar, our, excuse me, Goliath Bardbarian, um, who at this level took another level in Bard because that's her main. I just did the Barbarian for a little flavor, and it's also really fun to say Bardbarian. So, okay. you know, she, Bardbarian. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it feels weird. To be here on this Thursday, it it felt it's felt like weeks since we played, like like a long time, and it's only been like a like two weeks since we played. Week and and it's just like yeah. it's a week and a half, you know. It's but a... yeah, I'm looking forward to game, and so is Keiko. Nice. All right, any announcements? Announcements. Um, in. A few weeks, not this weekend, but next weekend, I, Krista, I know Traz is, I don't know if you got in a game, Kelly, or not? No, I did not. I, I no, you did not? Okay. Um, but so, so the three of us off the top of my head, I know, are going to be part of Adventure Dice's charity stream, raising money for Andrea Andrea's Adventurers, which is their um, uh, cancer research group that they're, like, that's their group, and then they donate to the Canadian Cancer Society um because cancer sucks and uh, i'm sure every one of us is close to it in some way or not so yeah they're doing a weekend of fundraising for that so um, i'm looking forward to that and i uh, hope you could come and watch us and if not and if you have the money donate you know all mm. that lovely stuff and speaking of donations uh there is one thing that we have uh extra life is in 30 days so um we'll we'll be seeing Whoa. you for that that's, that's so wild. soon Oof, that's terrifying. i know that is wolf michael brought that up on sunday during spell jam he's like so what about what about uh extra life and i was like uh, uh. yeah so i've been looking uh, at one page rpgs and i yeah, found a couple that are like really cool uh, but we'll talk about that during the break let's keep let's keep springing around and definitely go see robin and traz and krista uh this weekend on adventure dice is that um, twitch.tv slash adventure dice um i believe so i will go quickly check on their discord to see Sounds about good. that i know i like posted um their ad pages yeah. somewhere but uh, cool. yeah all right let's pass over to krista hi i'm krista i use they them or she her pronouns uh and i'm playing sabina morden our halfling ranger who and uh who has their beast mass or their beast companion dax the moorbounder uh the in bosses. Uh, yes, yeah, exactly. Let's be honest, it's Dax. He's a cat. Um, he's a cat. Precisely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so uh, my announcements are, I suppose, in, in two separate categories. One is gaming and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be on Adventure Dice, which I'm super stoked about. I got to meet Andrea. Uh, at, well, actually, I think a bunch of us got to meet Andrea at uh, Capital City Comic Con. She was lovely, uh, as well as Blair, who is uh, one of the co-owners, I believe, um, who were both very, very lovely people. So go get your Adventure Dice. It's great. Uh, and then secondly, you can find me on Saturdays at Lawful Stupid RPG. And again on Sundays at 8 a.m., you can find Kelly and I over at the Onyx Path playing Pugmire, along with the other yeah. games Kelly's playing over there. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. then my other <laughs> my other one is Slight Life uh, Development. I 
am going to be a little janky this stream. Uh, I might mm. cut in and out a little bit. Don't be surprised. I also don't have the chat open. So if you at me and I don't respond, that is why I normally have the Twitch chat open. I am at my father's who lives in Falkland, F-A-L-K-L-A-N-D, Falkland, Falkland, B.C., in the Falklands, uh, in Falkland, B.C., which is in between uh, Kamloops and Vernon. Is that it where the Mordens are from? It is. It is. Oh, now I've seen it now. <laughs> you tempted fate. Exactly. Oh, oh she froze. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, at least moving. it was oh. a good, for, good freeze frame. Oh. You're good. It, you're... See, you, it, your, your joke killed my internet. It was offended. Always offensive. Oh, no. Hello. There we go. Hello. Uh, <laughs> yes. So we're apologies. all just really quiet. Yeah. yeah. So this is this is what's going to happen probably. So Sabina might be quieter than normal this session, but I am going to be following along. Um, but yes, I apologize if I can't if I don't re respond to your ads. Um, mm -hmm. But there is there is that. So uh, apologies. And if you hear many, many dogs, there are full four size dogs. No, sorry, six full size dogs and four puppies upstairs, not to mention the five cats and the five horses and that's slightly Two too many cats and... and not enough dogs, I think, really. And, I was going to yeah. say, it sounds Honestly, amazing. a good amount of horses. I really want to come visit the horses. Yeah. Not yes. going to lie. Yeah. Right. yeah. And that the sheep amazing. and the chickens and the, yeah, mm -hmm. and the pigs and the, and the grass. Yeah. The geese. Uh, oh, the turkeys. There's turkeys. Speaking of a turkey. For now. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> I, uh, uh, turkey. I'm Chris. I'm playing... Um, the jive turkey dorlin wild rock uh i use uh he him and they uh pronouns for myself uh dorlin uses he him he is a artificer uh gnome uh armorer sorry i'm a little scattered uh and if um uh what was it if uh if i seem a little off tonight i uh just uh pulled my ear out uh no i uh just uh was at the dentist so i'm still a little numb but uh doing great and uh, happy to be here tonight and uh, with Dorland's nice amount of hit points. Thank you for that, Kelly. You're very welcome. That's a good announcement. All right. I was at the dentist today, too, so I feel you. I feel you. I'll tell you about that during the break. It's like, uh, I know. That's it's such a, a tease. A, like, it's a great it's a, tease, you know? If you want to hear this interesting stay thing. Stay during the break. And if you're on the podcast, I'm sorry. Watch the YouTube video because I cut it out from the podcast so that you don't have to listen to us do that. Uh, <laughs> it makes me wonder, part, like, what they've been thinking about, like, all the other, like, stay until the break. And then they're like, hmm. It's on the YouTube. I also, uh, for our uploads, we have to keep our episodes under 200 megs. So the, the chat usually <laughs> drops us below 200. <laughs> <laughs> for video quality for episode or uh, audio quality um all right let's pass to caitlin hello i'm caitlin i use she her pronouns and tonight i'll be playing zarya rain the tiefling cleric of the group nice I any announcements from you have any big announcements nice all right let's pass over yeah. you don't know yeah. that's fine that's it. um you saw a concert it was good I did actually. I did. I had a doctor's appointment today. That was fine. So everybody was going good. to the doctor today. It's true. Uh, it's true. All right. And finally, last but not least, let's pass over to Christine. I was not going to the doctor or the dentist. I was just working my ass off all day. Mm. <laughs> so, oh. This week has been insane. But hello, I am Christine. Um, I use she/her pronouns, and I am playing Zanata Vosh, our orc echo knight. Nice. All but right. Otherwise, I also get to have announcements. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Go ahead. Jeez. I stream on Saturdays. So come join me on like Saturday morning and come hang out when I'm not green. <laughs> she, she got me on that one. Um... <laughs> I have a regular one. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else you'd like to say, Christine the Powerful? <laughs> uh no i think i'm good i'm yeah, i'm okay. honestly exhausted from you've, work because it's been insane but you've, you've asserted your dominance you're fine i am trying to keep my energy up here I, so. think, I think it's great i think you did a good job i'm proud of you <laughs> um and i i just wanted to say real quick that y'all wear costumes and i generally don't but guess what people as it goes over my head and i can't see i'm in a costume now too because i bought the goddamn cobalt soul hoodie nice, nice. well done well done. well done 
All right, so yeah. we should all join the Allegiance of All Sight now, right? Yeah. 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 I will. I will admit to all of you watching. I did post that in our group chat. I was like, I'm about to buy this hoodie. If you guys all join the Allegiance of All Sight at this point, you're dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's very comfy. Mm -hmm. It's very comfy. And like Well and honestly looking at it like and having like tried it and stuff, it's really good shape for doing costuming with. Too. Yeah, it's it, they like, like I got it's this legit. In the, like the forge. It would shirt. make a good good outfit for a they they character. I will say the critical role store is not mm -hmm. cheap if you're especially if you're in Canada, but the quality's really up there. I was I was actually surprisingly impressed. Even their clothes pins were high quality and that weirded me out. Because like they had the tag like clothes pinned on, but it was like a clothes pin that was shaped like a light oh. bulb, so that it would move better. And I was oh. like, even the clothes pin is fancy, bougie. <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> All right. Which, yeah, it's actually um, it's a holiday weekend this weekend for us, which is very exciting. It's true. Uh, is it? Oh, it is. On, I don't have to work tomorrow. Getting. It's great. <laughs> on Monday morning, oh, we, uh, we 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 uh, mm -hmm. we give thanks to uh, to the world for giving us Trizelta because it's his birthday. Yes. Which I feel comfortable I sharing because that. I just put it in the chat. Um, yep. so. yep. Excellent, excellent. All right. Congratulations. Well, you get a day off for Trizelta's birthday. I like that. Yeah, we all get a day off for Trizelta's mm -hmm. birthday. I think that's great. Thanks, Traz. Yeah. That's real kind yeah, of thanks. you. Come to Canada, yeah. man. Ooh. I appreciate uh, you being born. Yeah. I'm, I'm working on it. I know. What a thankful <laughs> day. Uh, folks, uh, I think it's time for us to hop into game, though. We have, we have dilly-dallied enough. It's already 7.20. And, uh, what is it? 7.23, actually. Yeah. Wow. Uh, oh, I you yeah. said, oh, is it? No, I said, blaze it? <laughs> yeah, Question I'll mark. tell you about that during during the break. There was a, <laughs> I had a weird part of my day today. Um, cool. All right, so folks, without further ado, all let right. us head back into Call of the Nether Deep, and let me remind you of where we were. <clears throat> Last time on Call of the Nether Deep, after achieving several of your goals and investigating well investigating the murder and uh let's see what else did you do last episode you avoided that you returned with the magic sword and were summoned well you were summoned before the head of the cobalt soul a man named jamil and jamil said to you as you entered, he greeted you, bade you listen to him. He told you about Ruidium, the strange red magical substance that had infected the elephant statue, the sword, and so much more, it seems. He told you that it corrupted everything it touched, that it came from a place called the Netherdeep, which could be reached by passing through a rift in the heart of Kael Moro. He said that he had been told of a passage to the rift, but one that required some sort of key. However, that he didn't know what form that key would take. As he looked at you inside of the audience chamber, he leaned forward and with a conspiratorial whisper said, I fear further unrest. In Ankarao, so long as the rift exists, the nether deep must be sealed off or destroyed. Lest Luridium continue to find its way into Ankarao. But, first things first, we need a key. Will you accept this mission? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. You'll be outfitted and supplied, of course. Jamil smiles at you. He is, um, he's a handsome what kind human. of supplies. You'll be given what you need. Jamil is a handsome human man in his early adulthood with brown skin and curled locks that cling around his face. He's very fit, as are most members of the Cobalt Soul that you've seen so far. They like to keep it tight. <laughs> yeah. 
It is my belief, then, that the allegiance of all sight and the Vermilion Dawn, oh, pardon me, Vermilion Dream, are acting selfishly by taking advantage of their access to the Netherdeep. I want you to do the following things for me and report back within seven days. I want you to enter, enter Kale Morrow and rendezvous with Professor Insight Akuere. Professor Insight is a member of the Allegiance of All Sight, but she is quite, quite intelligent and quite. Now, I don't know if trustworthy is right in this situation, but I do like her. I want you is to she earn a her... Is she a tiefling? She is a tiefling, yes. I was just wondering, because... Boy, I don't know where my... I don't know where Keiko's accent is. Um, <laughs> I'm just wondering um, if... She's a that was very insightful of you, Keiko. How do you thing, know? Thank you. Well, she, she has a weird name like Curiosity does. So I was wondering if it was a tiefling, because that seems to be a tiefling thing. You mean body. question? Question, yes. Not curiosity. The tieflings it's, often it's have been... names that are nouns. I hear curiosity doesn't like cats. Just that once. But what about Zachary? They do. It was just really sad. They really like cats. You'll find the professor at the Allegiant of All Sides base camp inside of Kale Mora. I want you to go to her. I want you to do what you can to earn her trust. She's going to be very useful to us. Because once you have her trust, you're going to find out how we can access the Netherdeep. Once you know that, I need you to acquire whatever key it is needed to enter it. This is a dangerous mission. I'm trusting you with a lot. Should you return, having achieved those, I will happily give you 1,000 gold pieces as a reward, as well as my personal thanks. In the meanwhile, if you accept this, I would like to induct you into the Cobalt Soul. Iwozalare has spoken very highly of you. This this isn't like a fraternity or something where we get hazed when we come in, right? Who's to say? I'm Help in. Me. Oh dear. Well, in return for joining, I'm happy to provide each of you with some perks if you would be so interested. As you see, we're quite stylish. He adjusts his monastic robe. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding just because I bought the damn the damn hoodie. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> Each of you are will be given one of the monastic robes. Wear it or not, it's up to you. They're quite durable and comfortable. We made sure of that. They breathe, and um, they're uh, let's just say that they're they're built for athleticism. So, they can take a beater. Uh, if you get damaged... Could I adjust we... mine? Will, will, I get, will I get in trouble if I want to, like, rip off his arms or something? No. Can we customize it? I don't see why not. Okay, good. If it gets destroyed, you can always purchase a new one from one of um, uh, from one of the uh, quartermasters of the Temple of Mentor for uh, a gold piece. Also, to save you a bit of money, each of you who joins the Cobalt Soul will receive free lodging inside of Ankarel for as long as your membership. So long as you continue with the Cobalt Soul, you will always have a place to live, a place to sleep, a place to be safe. That is our promise. 
Can that extend to family? I don't see why not. It's it, you won't be given a larger accommodation because of family, so unless you no, have that, that... many, many, many children and prove yourself to be very useful. I'm just wondering. My husband's shop got destroyed, so I don't know if he has anywhere really stable to sleep. I don't see why that would be a problem. Perfect. The um, the lodgings that we will arrange for you are quite comfortable. Uh, besides that, um, you are also welcome to use the temple store. Um, Iwo will explain the uh, the purchasing power that that gives you. But it does mean that you'll be able to buy useful items directly from the Temple of Mentor, rather than having to go through a middleman. It's decently cheaper, and it allows us to make sure that our members are well-equipped. I know that I'm asking a lot of you. But I ask no more than what is necessary. Is there a test? You've already done it. An initiation. Oh. Well, that's good. You've had two members of the Cobalt Soul vouch for you, Question and Iwo. You've performed missions. You've acquired a, a magic item that probably could have sold for five times the value. You let it go to us and returned it to us for destruction. If you weren't the type of person the type of people that we wanted in the Cobalt Soul. Your natures would have revealed yourselves to us by now. Is Question their real name, or was that part of the test? My friend, there are some things that even I don't know. Interesting. I suppose you have to figure that mystery out for yourself, Dolan. Hmm. That is the question. That is the question. So when did we need to go? Be back so within there's... seven days. Take the okay. day to prepare if you need. Take some time to sleep. I can have Ewo or Question set you up with your new residences. I was just wondering, I know we don't know what this is, next step is going to take us. I know... Dolan was working on um, making an eye for a friend, and I was wondering if we had time to maybe... Excuse me, Dolan could work on that and give it before we go, just in case anything happens. His expression darkens. You are, um, you're speaking of the ones who came to Ankara with you. The other party. Question had informed me of some of your activities in Bazazan. You may do as you wish. I would suggest that you be mindful and careful about consorting with them further, we should say. I feel they may be allying themselves with powers that are ill-advised. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. I, I, hmm. Just, just because they might have stepped into the bad side of town for a little bit doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad people. They, they've been quite. I mean, well, we do have a. We've had some ups and downs, but um. I, Thank you for yeah, your I mean, concern, though. We will we'll watch ourselves around them. I, I think they're good people. Overall. Hmm. 
maybe just a little lost. Let's hope, let's hope the appraisal is apt and that you are able to find wherever they are lost. In the meanwhile, I would suggest you move quickly. Do whatever affairs that you need, but seven days is not a lot of time. There is much ground to cover in Kale Moro, if I'm to understand. You will need to go to the Kale Moro dig site, and you'll present with uh, Iwo, if you would. Iwo Zolare approaches, and um, the half-orc opens a box. Inside, you will see that there, well, there are badges bearing the sigil of the Allegiance of Allsight. Each one of these, on loan from the Allegiance of Allsight, will grant you entry. From there, you'll descend into Kale Moro and meet with Insight herself. Insight at Allsight. At the site. Mm-hmm. At the <laughs> site. Oh, I'm going to get names confused, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sorry in advance. I have some errands to run if we should go do those. Yes. I suppose this sounds like a dangerous place, potentially. Does a shop sell potions? Specifically healing. Not as many as other items, but it could be arranged. That would be very useful. Yes. If you have any other questions, please direct them to Iwa. Or to question if you see them. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that you had a relaxing time yesterday. Oh, yes. Oh, it was, it was fantastic. fantastic. Thank you for your suggestion. Mm -hmm. With that, Iwo gathers you up and walks you through the Cobalt Soul, asking for confirmation on who needs to be sized for robes. Oh, sure. So which of you are uh, Zarya, Zanata, mm -hmm. Keiko, Sabina, Dorlin, Dax? Oh! Dax needs some robes too, please. Yes. Dax and I are okay, thank you. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, my She's going to kind of like feet. protectively pet the leather collar that he wears. He looks confused, but is okay with it. <laughs> Am I to read this as you not being willing to join the Cobalt Soul? No, um... I just like my outfit and Dax's oh, it's quite collar. Dapper. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I thought you were not going to join. Oh no, goodness! Um, I I'm very excited about the opportunity to read all of the books. Um, but uh, no, I just I I don't I I like this. Well, it I wasn't going to really nice. wear it often. I just thought it would be kind of cool to have. Like, like you know when you go to some place and they give you, like, a nice jacket or something like that? It's kind of like a, one of those things you wear to show off. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to turn it into a really nice, like, cape vest thing to wear. It's a good idea. I've seen many around. times that happen. It, uh, it is quite attractive when done right. Hmm. Let's see. All right. He takes you through the Temple of Mentor to a... Uh, the Temple of the Mentor, I should say. Uh, to a, uh, a little shop at area. It's almost like a gift shop, but it's... Uh, it's You know what it kind of looks like? It looks like the, the Cobalt Soul version of, like, the weapons counter in every police station in a movie. Ooh. <laughs> you know? Like, it's like a little kiosk that yeah. only... Only you oh walk. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm you okay. Yep. There's some guy sitting behind there. There's there's a dwarf sitting behind the counter there with a very bristly mustache. 
no beard, just this mustache, just this huge mustache. <laughs> like he was really doing some big paperwork, one. Playing Sudoku, you know how it is. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and just in case you were curious, this is what the outfit kind of looks like. So it's like a blue roby trench coat thing. Oh, so Ooh, nice. So it's basically just you're, we're, we're palette swapping you, Dorlin. <laughs> but um, behind the behind the desk, the dwarf will raise an eyebrow up at you. Hey, Whoa! How are you doing? Drop out at all? Some new recruits here. Please make sure that they're outfitted well. While you're getting measured, I'll uh, I'll um, just go to the washroom. To be honest, you're all fine here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is uh, Otto Stone Mason. He'll take care of you. I'll take care of you just fine. All right. Bring it in. What have we got? Let's see. He eyes you all appraisingly from eyebrows that are almost the size of that humongous mustache. They're, <laughs> honestly, they're joined the center above a giant bulbous nose, so it looks like two mustaches fighting each other. <laughs> he talks. Oh my god. <laughs> Is he bald on top, or does he have hair? Um, he's... I, I pictured him having kind of like the Ron Swanson haircut. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't Are these think... like eyebrows, the really long ones that kind of curl up? Yeah, they're the little ones that like curl Jim up. Jim Carrey's Ooh. Dr. Eggman from Sonic. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah he's, he's, he's a dwarven he's a dwarven Eggman. <laughs> Alright, who's going to be magic first? Me, me, me. He will be fastest, and then uh, oh, I will probably think, take. You think he'll be fast? Why? Because he's small. Because he's short. Yes. You probably yeah, don't have he's... to go up and down the ladder as much. I take my job, Missy, with a great deal, right? I, I, I didn't assume you didn't. Everyone gets the same treatment. Everyone gets the same quality. Oh, okay. What proceeds to happen is an hour of <laughs> ASMR measuring <laughs> for each of you. Oh, wow. Divided into oh, for, I think about 10 all minutes. of us all together. Oh, okay. <laughs> does okay. It do? I think Keiko's just gonna stop talking to dwarves, man. She does not do well with them. <laughs> She's not vibing with them for whatever no. reason. <laughs> Sabina will ask for a needle and thread um, for the patch. All right. Uh, it's a badge, if that's what you're talking about. Oh, well, it's a badge, not it's a patch. A I thought it was like, like a badge. It's like um, a guest it's an badge, badge for the Allegiance she'll, Wall site. She'll probably ask for it as well. And like okay. some of her clothing that's like stitched, she'll sit there and kind of like be stitching it on herself. Oh, absolutely. Most of her stuff is kind of a little bit patchwork and that like it's clearly been like well cared. Always kind of work on stuff. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, so while you're doing that, you'll be able to uh, whew, get yourself all... Uh, I know, sorry, I started a reaction. Yeah, you started a reaction. Uh, so you'll you'll get yourself uh, you get yourself patched up. Everybody will get measured who wants it. I'm assuming that's everyone except for Sabina and Vax. So you'll all be measured that. Uh, as he is going around trying to measure Keiko, he's he approaches this like like a huge problem. Like, he walks around her a couple of times and does the whole, like, oh, mm. I'm going to need a stepladder for my stepladder. Oh. Let's see. All right, I'm going to need two tape measures for your bust. I'm going to need, let's see. All right. Oh. All right, either I can get a ladder. Or you can kneel while I measure your shoulders. I'll get the ladder. What I was, I was just gonna say, what what would be? It's your art and your craft. Would you rather me on my knees or would you rather on a ladder? I imagine a lot of people want to put you on your knees, Kango. Ooh. <laughs> you should have asked. Uh, um... The dwarf is going to turn bright red and start. St- Stammering and stuttering as he measures you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get you just I, 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 
robes will look very nice on you. Thank you. Could I get a very dramatically long tail cape? Train is the word I'm looking for. Hey, we can do that. Extra long. And she'll hey. get him. <laughs> make me make me a charisma check. You can use All right. Make me a persuasion check to break the dwarf's heart. <laughs> okay, it could be better. Uh, eight plus nine is seventeen. Well, I mean, uh, you're much better looking short. He nods sagely to himself. <laughs> it really brings out your your features. Oh, thank you. Go. All right. You're quite charming yourself, sir. He starts making very, very herniated <laughs> noises. All right. Um, after that, he does, uh, he fits you for this, the outfits and then goes through uh, the price with you of things that he has on stock. Uh, presently, he has two. Um, so let me double check something. He has. Okay. He has three potions of healing. Each one will be 50 gold pieces. Uh, special value because you're working for the Cobalt Soul. Also, uh, members can buy the following items from the store here at a reduced cost. Uh, the reduced cost is what I'm about to list. Um, a spell scroll of Detect Magic for 10 gold pieces. A spell scroll of Divination for 125. A spell scroll of Commune for 250. And a pair of Sending Stones for 250. Yeah, these are Ooh. good bargains. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming we want the three health potions, I'm assuming, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's probably a good For deal. Sure. Those are yes, going to be basic, basic health potions. Yes, I agree. Yep. Remove. All right. We have 850 gold left. <laughs> I'm assuming these are, are these basic bitch these healing are basic potions? Bitch. For 50 right. gold? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was figuring that would be a real good deal. Do, was that like was that the party's total or do we have an individual total? Um, ever since we've been getting the big chunks of gold and people like since the beginning, I think everyone might have had some some starting gold at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But like like I have seventeen personal gold for Keiko from the beginning of gotcha. the, this campaign. Party gold and then and pocket change? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds good. Um so I have seventeen gold and four silver for myself, and then there was a the thousand plus for the the party which i've been keeping track of all the party loot yep. since we said that so if there if you have any gold on your sheet that is yours not not party um Sounds so yeah good. we still have eight eight hundred and fifty gold left it's pretty good is there anything else there that sounds interesting to you um I mean, always it all it, sounds interesting it sounds very interesting <sighs> a pair of sending stones i feel like would be particularly helpful if we ever get split mm. up oh yeah absolutely That's and if you cool. if you combine them then uh, you get two pair you can link them together in a four way oh well that sounds good um I b and i believe commune is when you commune with nature and you can ask it about the terrain you can ask several questions of the area i believe Hey. Uh, detect magic is also always very useful. Yes, detect oh, magic is steal. good. That one mm. is a seal at ten gold. I know I, I, I don't have the ability to cast that. So having that, I could read could it. Be... But you could also read it. Yeah, I could probably read it. I don't have it as my spells that I've learned ever. So I'm sure. Um, I do, but it's quite tiring. Yes, maybe yes. Two going or three. into. Uh old city with dangerous magical artifacts coming out of it. That might be a, a good talent to have. Mm. Mm, I agree. Yes. Do we want to do like four maybe? 40 gold for four opportunities to do magic? More or less? Do you have four of them? No, oh, I do I have four of them? Oh, that's over just his shoulder at a rack of what must be like 
four dozen of them just sitting there. I didn't know they were all the same thing. Yeah, I didn't. Well, do you know how? Do you know, I mean, we've got between us. If any of you mm. are, um, are are wizards or, or spellcasters of any time, uh, any kind, this is part of initiation. You, you turn oh, right, these out. Right, scrolls. Oh, oh, I, what if you can't turn. read or, or write? Well, then I write we're working on it, Keiko. Yeah, you're, it's you're, you can't. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really think I can write it out. Oh, I mean, it's it's different. I, I I've been told that you, I mean, you're being outfitted for for some type of mission. Uh, mm. Yes. Uh, you probably don't have to do this. I mean, oh. Although, I mean, we do pay an hourly wage for anybody who does make the scrolls past uh, past their internship. Mm. Oh. Noted. How mm -hmm. much? Reasonable market rate. Tell us how much you're worth. I think a person's individual value is priceless. <laughs> All right, I'll pay you nothing then. <laughs> All right. Um, so, group, did we want to do four scrolls of detect magic? Does that sound everyone agree? If, uh, Sounds if useful. we want. I mean, I, given enough time, I could probably whip something together and figure it out on my own. But this is 10 gold, Dolan. We could use your abilities for something even mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. All right. That is Four true. Four scrolls, please. We also have limited time. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Four scrolls, okay. please, sir. Absolutely. Four scrolls. Not a problem at all. Four scrolls. One, two, three, four. All right. That's 40 gold pieces. Ready to go. Okay, go. Ching, ching, ching. He was a lie. We'll return from the washroom at this point. Having been gone an hour, apparently. <laughs> an hour per. I Are you doing combined. okay? I said it was combined. It was, it was, uh, it was, oh, okay. It was, it was about 10 minutes per. <laughs> Six hours later. Boy, are you okay? Um, are are you okay, you okay, <laughs> There was an interesting article in a magazine. Oh, oh okay. Sure. Um, excuse me, sir. I missed the dwarf's name. Um, oh. sir, um, um, I was wondering if you had any fish. Uh, fresh is preferable, but canned is fine. I don't think we're that kind of store. Okay. I just think <laughs> it's, it's always worth asking. But, uh, he is kind of a cute bugger, isn't he? Mm. Oh, no, it's for another cat. A cat that did me a favor. Does Dax look very betrayed at this? Oh, <laughs> Dax, Dax, Dax is salty else? now. Dax got a five on his saltiness check. He's just... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Meanwhile, Aura like leans this. across the counter like, and just kind of melts toward you. What kind of cat? I love cats. It's a cat that lives mostly on top of the step aside. Um, she was a beautiful Siamese. She was oh, absolutely I love Siamese. lovely and so sweet. And I, mm. she was very lovely. Um, well, a little persnickety, mm. but aren't all cats. Oh, um, that's, that's what makes them the best. Um, but she ran an errand for me, and I owe her for that. Mm. Well. I will... Um... I brought this from a lunch, but uh, give her a scratch for me. Of course. Oh, do you want to see pictures of my cats? <laughs> yes. Oh. So he's going to go back um, and grab some dried fish for you that he brought for his lunch and, and give you give you a good fillet of it or a, a fillet yes. as he says um <laughs> and we'll proceed to show you like some small wallet sized portraits he had commissioned of his cats amazing yeah this is this is juniper this is knuckles this is altier this is catamnestra and this is nestor they're all perfect Ah, I like this one. I like this one. Oh, 
Um, so did we want anything else? We still have 820 gold. 810 gold, sorry. Mm. What were the other scrolls? There's commune. There's commune, which was 300, 200, you said? 250, <coughs> and divination 250. for 125. All right. Um, and then also, we had, did we want to at least get one pair of sending stones, potentially? In case we split up? I think so, We'll get yes. lost. All I right, can always can send a get... message, but... That's true. Mm. And actually, I do, do I have the ability? I don't have a message. Um, I don't. But sending stones work over how much of a range? Sending stones? Super Quite long, good. isn't it? Uh, I think it's so. like miles. Yeah, sending stones. Okay, so that, uh, that might be really good. Well, you have one stone. Uh, you can use the action to cast sending from it. Oh, sending. Oh, you don't even need pairs. So uh, when you touch one stone, what well, to the other one? If the target, oh, sorry, the target is the bearer of the other stone, if no creature bears the other stone, you know that fact as soon as you use the stone and don't cast the spell. Mm. Um, once sending is cast the next. stone next on, uh, yeah, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I think I think it's a cell phone. I think it's more fun if it's a cell phone. So guess yeah. what? These are these like are a the walkie talkie. <laughs> got unlimited minutes on it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's a, a pay-as-you-go phone. I, I, it's it's uh, these ones are special. They're the sending oh. stone plus. Oh. All right, all right. What makes all them right. plus? You could use them multiple times. Oh. Without so draining the magic. This, definitely. What is this wizardry, and how does it work? Uh, it's called uh, it's called uh, constant upgrades to make you get new plans. Oh well, that's what was happening when they gave me the other one. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You sent uh, multiple. The hey, hey. Well, the difference is once you're you're on our sending stone carrier now. Our, oh. the Cobalt Soul has a powerful sending stone network, and you're part of it. Mm. So no additional fees for roaming for uh, for quick little uh, little messages that you send each other. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, that's quite handy. All um, right. Um so a, a pair of, pair then. Let's get to get a pair right, for sure. A pair of sending stones. Now I do have to warn you. If you ever mm. in the field and someone tries to send to sell you sending stone note. Yes. Oh. There okay. was a gnome from Hopperduk who was selling those for a while. They were bombs. They had explos yeah. explosive runes. And sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. How long ago was this? <laughs> uh, a few months, probably. Maybe a bit longer. What and what, what? Did they catch this gnome? Oh no, he's a slippery little bugger. Actually, hurt quite a few of uh, the new recruits because you know how they are with their sending their notes over the sending stones constantly. Not like when I was a kid. We did it the old-fashioned way. Paper, pen, occasional tattoos. Sometimes while people were awake. Oh. Um, it sounds like a lot of fun. Do you... Mm. Mm. It's, it's, this is an awful long way from Hopper Duke. I wonder what this gnome is doing here. Do, did you get a name or what they looked like at all? Or, I mean, if we, if we got a name or what he looked like, um, it'd be... It'd be easier to uh, to have caught him if it is a him. We, I mean, oh, that. Sorry, I'm just. Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm not trying to be PC, lad. No, I I'm so concerned there might be somebody fucker. I know. Well, if you know, you know several because it sounds like the little fucker was using disguise self. Everybody has a different a different description of this gnome. Well, did we want a so, okay, did we want a divination scroll or a commune scroll? We still have five hundred and sixty so the, gold. Yes, I believe the commune scroll would as, let us talk with uh, gods or a divine being. Oh, you could mm. speak with your Raven Queen with a more I, direct I could, line. With more, the more direct. With the more direct line, yes, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I mean, that might be handy. <laughs> so it's like a sending stone for a god? 
Hey. Long distance. Yeah, it covers your yes. long distance plan. Mm -hmm. All right, it's so it. a scroll yeah. of... Trust me, then. when you call a god, you don't want to make it collect. <laughs> no, they will, they I do. suppose not. They do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll do that, and then that still leaves us with 310 gold. So if we ever stumble somewhere and we still have some pocket money. Um, but right now I have healing, three healing potions, four scrolls of detect magic, a pair of sending stones, and one scroll of commune. Does mm -hmm. anyone want anything else? That sounds fairly adequate. Mm-hmm. Want some Nothing money for I don't think we can future afford. Expenses. Mm -hmm. What? Do I want? Hmm? Hmm? What did you say? What oh, do you if need? If we want anything else, nothing I don't think we can afford. What do you want, Dolan? Yes. Oh. Um, well, there's a couple of interesting crystals I think that I could do some neat work with. Uh, might be able to refract some energy into um, powering up uh, bigger blasts of things, but that's down the road. It's mostly yeah. just for experimentation. Um, um, bigger plates I, for armor um, could probably... Yeah. Um, but what they sell also... here? Oh, no, I... No, I, I think I'm good for that. Thank you, though. Oh, okay. All right. I've got this really neat idea, though, using these crystals. I think I can amplify some of the energy and just, like, that I shoot through my little arm cannon on my armor. It would be interesting. It Big sounds boom. very interesting. Big Ooh. boom. Perfect. Big boom. Um, right, then. <laughs> Thank you for your measurements and your wares. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's no problem at all. Not to a fellow cat lover. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had something fit so nicely. Mm -hmm. You really do make it very fitting for all uh, types of folk. I do. So thank okay. you. Of course. Of course, if you, if you gain some more muscle, I'll let it out. If you lose some muscle, I'll take it in. Ooh. If you gain some weight around the midsection, you're perfect the way you are. I like it. Well, uh, thank you. It's very uplifting. Did he adopt me? <laughs> <laughs> the cat mom Sorry, size guys. Game. <laughs> yeah, so, so Saba, Sabina's done adventuring. She's just going to go live with this guy. <laughs> your, next, your next character Imagine. will be your adopted children. There oh. we go, yeah. There we go. Fair enough. I mean, we've had a good run. I'll just, I'll just yeah. play uh, Shira. <laughs> okay, this is, that sounds good. This is a fitting end. Yeah. All right. Sweet. All right, adventure over. <laughs> I'll retire yeah. on Corral. We found our yeah. cat daddy. I have exactly. a feeling that a lot of a lot of this module's adventures retire in Oof, oof, oof. So once you're done getting measured and, and flirting with Arl, uh Iwa will mm. uh, will approach you and say oh. I should be heading back to work, but if you'd like I can show you to your domicile or I can see if a question is available to do it too. Whatever is easier for you. If you have somewhere to be and stuff to do, you could just point us in the direction of question. And we could try and mm. find them. I mean, I don't think they're very far ever. Come. Let's set off. Good purchases, by the way. I was going to oh, buy those potions if you weren't. You never know when you're going to hurt yourself in the kitchen. It's true. Oh, I mean, that's fair. But if you have a bit of time, you can always patch yourself back up now. Yes. It depends how you cook. There was a time I, that Bodhi and I tried I to cook in the kitchen you. together, and it just ended up not well. Oh. oh, yes. Yes, we ended up just having sex while the kitchen caught on fire. Oh! <laughs> There's the reaction good. I was looking for. You know, I was going to ask... That seems very you two. <laughs> seems 
very and, yeah. dangerous for the kitchen. Hmm, yes. I'm all for that, but it does seem very odd in the kitchen when you were cooking. You would have to start all over. Yeah. And yeah, we ended up doing that. And then we ended up just going out because then we burnt the second round of dinner. Having a second round. So, you know, <laughs> it happens. Question. <laughs> yes. Question. Yeah, what is yeah, it, what Sabina? I, what can I do for you? You're going to hear kind of echo from across the, the oh, library. Oh, that question. I mean, <laughs> shh, okay. shh. It's a library. <laughs> Sorry. And so question the tiefling will 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 scamper up to you. Uh, as question is is heading up, uh, their bubbly personality kind of just overwhelming. Um, Zanata, Iwo Zalara is going to turn and kind of like lean into you with a hushed voice and speak to you in Orcish. Mm-hmm. Are you sure that this is a path that you're really willing to take, mercenary? I've seen you with the scar bearers. I have not seen you. Hmm. I have not seen this as your path. Oh, a friend asked me for a favor. There's not many of those left, so... Hmm. Then I'll tell you this. As a fellow orc, be careful. Kale Morrow was touched by the calamity. I don't know which god you serve. But there's a lot of grumsh down there. Good to know. Mm -hmm. He switches back to common. Well, the best of luck to all of you. I'm going to get back to work. And uh, if you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Mm. Uh, question, please take them to accommodations. They've all decided to join. Well, I'd be happy to. Question turns, kind of bobbing their head and uh, gives you all a look over. Uh, question being, uh, is it purple tiefling or blue tiefling? I can't remember. It's been a while. Albino oh, tiefling. Oh, albino oh, tiefling. Oh, they're albino. Oh, they, I have no they, idea then. I think they are albino, actually, but they don't have art. It's the one, they're the one character that does not have art in uh, the entire Bazazen chapter. So, one sec, I'm just going to double Is check. Is there not? That. I thought they did. I thought they had art. I thought, I uh, sure. Prolix has art. Aloysia has mm -hmm. art. Oh. Um, and then, question. Just going to check that real quick. Yeah. Uh, mess hall, war room. Prolix and the Jewel, Infirmary. I've got notes for like accents drawn on pages. I like that. Uh, question. Uh, a chaotic something tiefling. Uh, always has a smile on her face. Uh, doesn't take notice of the characters unless they make contact first. Launches into an excited spiel. But they don't give any physical description, do they? At least not in this page. So this module does that a couple times where they'll introduce a character early. Like, oh, you'll meet this character, an albino tiefling. And then later, they won't remind you of the physical trait when they actually show up. So mm. um, there are a couple of gaps there. But uh, she's like, blah, 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 drawing a sketchbook, question theorizes. Uh... Yeah, so I'm, I guess, sure, albino tiefling works for me. At the very least, very pale, whatever whatever uh, color they are. Um, cool. Well, she's very bubbly, at the very least, uh, and throws her cobalt soul hood up around her face to shield herself from the sun. So um, if we're going to take you over to where you're going to be staying, um, I have to ask... Um, are you excited or are you really excited? Uh, quite, quite excited, yes. Thank like you. Like, on a scale of one to ten, how excited are you? I'm, I'm pretty excited to, like, see what this Kale Morrow place is about, and, uh, um, because it, 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 it's a city, right? Like, under here, or is that right? Like, it's, it's ruins, right? Mm hmm Yeah, it's completely ruined. Wow. 
So, um, I mean, we don't have very many records. Mm, yeah, well, um, well, we don't have very many records from the Calamity, but it's about, oh, I don't know, 500 feet below the surface of Ankarel? This place used to be a thriving metropolis back in the days before the Calamity happened. Like, more so than it is already? Oh, like Wanda's, like the eyes have never seen Wanda's. I mean, come on, you've heard stories of, of the old world and just the magic of the technology and just how everything was, uh, to be honest, quite a bit better. How can you get better than those Ooh. airships? What about, uh, what about other ships? What about land ships? Like a I don't carriage? Know what talking like about, a really. carriage? I, yeah, but like, <laughs> well, you've heard of the floating islands and stuff, right? Things like that. Like, not just ships, but actual, you know, magic everywhere. Anyway. Um, well. It'll be neat to see. I'm looking forward to that. So, um, the place I have set up for you, or that we have set up for everybody, is inside of the guided district. So, you know, just right next to the temple. It's like, maybe a, maybe a two minute walk from the temple nice and easy super easy it's uh really convenient actually uh takes you through the, the guided district the guided district being the most southeastern district the one that um is basically built around the temple of the mentor and uh, kind of hugs the far wall of the city. It's quite a bit higher above the other district. Well, the other districts that are not the palace itself. And um, reaching it requires a bit of uh, a bit of a trek. As you make your way there... Uh, sorry, I'm looking at the map and I'm not thinking about what I'm saying. You're already there. I'm dumb. Um, all right. Uh, so as you move your way through the guided district, you will be shown several uh, local landmarks, things like that. Question is not one to stop talking when the opportunity to make a noise exists. Oh, and there, oh, you, you gotta go to that place. That place has the best kebabs, but only after the six before then they're using the stuff from the previous day. Uh, now, if you keep going uh, over here, then uh, you are going to, uh, well, actually, you see that lovely apartment right there, you know, with the with the vaulted ceilings and the, and the, and the lovely blue tiles and all that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not you, but you're the one next to it. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that well, also, all right. that's also nice. It'll it'll make it easy for us to find. Thank you. Yeah, it's a bit. Of, it's look. It's it's still got the blue. It's still got the blue walls, but it's 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 more of like a more of a cobalt. Uh, you know, it's uh than like a cerulean or something like that. Anyway, please come with me. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of you with Mister Daxipo, uh, and. Uh, all right, so there's still going to be five rooms, though. I don't think Dax has really earned his own room at this point. Hmm, you should have joined when you had the chance, bucko, she says. <laughs> uh, and with that, they are going to continue onward in. Um, and uh, Robin, you asked me in the chat, uh, I am using gender fluid terminology for question. They switch back and forth at leisure, because I remember that's how we first introduced them. And then I got stuck saying the one pronoun. So, yeah, yeah, no worries. I just wanted to make sure because I know oh, yeah. it's been a while since it was happened, and I, I have in my notes they them. So I was like, they're mostly oh. they them, but sometimes, sometimes they're feeling yeah. a little fam. Yeah. Cool. She takes you into a set of apartments and shows you around. And once you're inside, they'll give you the full tour. Uh, it is very comfortable, actually, and you all of you will have comfortable lodgings. You already had comfortable lodgings, to be fair, over at the um, uh, over at the inn you're staying in. But this is free, and this is yours. Each one of these is a comfortable, uh, small apartment, similar to a dorm room. Not that dissimilar from Prolix's, actually. Uh, they're up on some of the higher floors of the building, starting with the second floor, third floor, um, all the way up to the fourth floor. Uh, of this building. They have a small balcony. Um, overall, it's about the size of a... Um, 
I'm going to say that comfortable is not a bachelor apartment, that comfortable is like a one room, nice condo. Even if it's a little tight in places, it is like spaciously tight, like tall ceilings. Um, there's not like a huge amount of floor space in the main room, but you may have like Murphy beds or sliding bits or like ingeniously designed uh, coffee presses that like fold out of the wall. Mm, Things like that. Yeah, I don't know if the coffee neat. press would. Um, so yeah, they will show you around and uh, and give you each one of your rooms. Uh, they have rooms oh. on the following floors available for your leisure. Uh, there is a there is a large one bedroom on the second floor. Uh, there is a medium sized one bedroom on the second floor. There is a uh, a small one bedroom on the third. There is a very large one bedroom on the fourth. Uh, not it's not a penthouse or anything. And then there is another medium sized one on the third. Fourth floor. Uh, um, uh, oh, uh, preferably. Yes, I would wouldn't mind a large-ish bedroom, if oh, that is all right. I just want to be on top. Third floor. Well, I think there's two rooms on the fourth floor, Dolan. So depending on if anyone else has preferences, there's also a large bedroom on the first floor, which I'm happy taking. So fourth floor. I would like a large-ish room, if possible. I'd like a medium room, at higher up if possible. I'd like to be able to see. I suppose, Sabina, that means if you get in the small room, is that... I mean, it's not that small. It's just a few feet smaller. I, it's completely fine. I've never had my own room. Well, congratulations. They take a step, put the key in the lock, and open it. Now you do. <laughs> Thank you. There's not that much uh, in here. Each one of them has like some basic furniture, some plates, dishes, stuff like that from previous tenants. But uh, Ooh, oh, I'm gonna go snooping. And uh, of course, clothes hangers. There's always coat coat hangers left over. Oh, excellent. Uh, if anybody Nothing's wants to, longer. I'd love to dress this up a little bit, but. All right. So I have. Keiko on four. Sure. I have Dorlin on three. Was that right? Sure. Okay, Unless there was I, another one on the fourth floor. I think I only rolled one on the fourth floor. Did okay. I say there were That's two on the fourth? That's what I fours? thought. I, I thought there was a small one on the third floor, so I'll go with that. There's Yeah, there's a medium on the fifth, a very large on the fourth, a small on the third, a medium on the second, and a large on the first. Oh, there's a fifth floor? I missed that. Yes. I don't remember saying that. Isn't that it? Oh, there was two ones, a two, a three, and a four. Okay. I'm so yep. confused. That's what. Sorry, Dolan I've been will like in to out. be as uh, on as high a floor as he can you know possibly what? get. I, I will spend if something good happens anyone. to give you the fifth floor. <laughs> <laughs> Small room on the fifth floor. He'll be happy. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. so there was a small one on the third, and a medium one on the third, uh, and then a uh, a, a largish one on the second floor. If I'm not this mistaken. is the best something good happens ever. Oh my okay. goodness! So mm -hmm. Sabina, Dolan on top. And I'll take the second. Take the second. Okay. Okay. So Zari is going to get a nice, nice average sized one on the third. That's got a better view. That sounds good. Nice. Okay. So they'll go ahead and guide you through looking through each one of your your places for for each each one has its own intricacies. Uh, if you want, you can make me an investigation roll to determine what features exist in your room. Oh yes. no! I have a oh. minus one to this investigation. Or you, so it'll be, you can roll investigation to find things that might have been left behind. I'll also allow you to, to roll percentiles to determine a random interesting feature. I got a nat 20. You got a nat 20? Ooh. Yeah. I also just rolled a dork tails. Heck you? yeah! Uh, Times two! Okay. 
I wanna, I'm gonna roll percentiles. I wanna find something weird, an interesting feature of the room. Okay. Oh, can huh. I do percentiles instead? Yeah. Yeah, you may. I got an 18 for on the D20, okay. but uh, 94. On D20. 94 Whoa, on percentiles. Okay. All right. So, uh, Sabina, did you roll anything? Okay. You're not even going to go into the room, are you? No, she's going to walk into the room, sit on the bed, and just sort of stare. And that's it. Cool. The bed's quite comfortable. Yeah. Dax is going to crawl up on it, and, and Dax is going to roll to see what the strange feature is. The strange feature is that the bed is, like, kind of lumpy, but in, like, a way that reminds you of sleeping outside on the ground, but soft. So at the very least, you have a slightly comfortable floor or a comfortable nice. bed to sleep on. Um, okay. Uh, so looking around, uh, who got the nat 20s? So hunting around Keiko and Zarya. Uh, Keiko, where in your apartment are you looking? And Zarya, where are you looking? Because that will determine what you get. Probably around the balcony. Around the balcony? Okay. Maybe where she was going yeah. straight to the, the like closet in the bedroom straight into the closet in the bedroom okay so looking mm-hmm. around there you're you're just looking for trouble uh, <laughs> yeah. yes okay <laughs> so uh, i need to grab a book now because we're going we're going off-roading on this on this yeah room. uh where is xanathar so room? soon weird right. items weird items <laughs> Yawn portal. Where's Xanathar's, man? It should be, like, right here. There we go. Okay. Uh, So, glancing around, what you're going to find is that... uh, Would you roll me percentiles, Robin? Okay. Fifty-three. 53. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to notice about this place uh, is when you head into the bedroom, uh, the bed is quite large. Large enough that you are going to be comfortable. You're even going to be able to only have your feet dangling off the edge. Like it is a full king-sized bed inside of there. Uh, It is also pretty sturdy. It's, uh, It's up on it's up on a bed frame, but it's like a wooden box a wooden box frame oh, right. yeah. more than mm-hmm. uh, more than anything with like a headboard or anything like that um but you will you'll also see that like the bed has like i want to say seen a lot of use but that sounds wrong um <laughs> you're gonna see that it looks like this was a family establishment actually uh because there are little signs of that there's like by the closet door there's height markings hatched into the wall um there's even underneath one corner of the bed a child's drawing on on parchment uh Hmm. what looks like a very happy family uh of it looks like daddy was a half elf or an elf uh and mommy was actually one sec let me just determine this one sec boop and boop okay uh and daddy was a uh dad daddy was a half elf daddy was a human nice uh and then there are two uh two small beings drawn on there one has pigtails one doesn't probably assume that it's a girl and a boy but who knows elven Mm -hmm. haircuts everything you know everybody's uh it is what it is. Yeah. Um, I sorry. I, I said is what it is because I glanced over and saw the saw Krista's comment in our private chat about Papa being a Rolling Stone. <laughs> yes, Papa was a rock genasi named Amazing. Um, oh my god! Right, so you'll find that in there. Uh, but what you are going to find as well is um, as you're glancing around there. The nice thing about your apartment, though, is that like it's got a decent sized, um, uh, a decent sized little like basin tub. You have Ooh. you have a little copper tub, big enough that you can wash yourself. So it's a big copper tub. You have a big copper tub uh, that's probably probably was installed so like you could like the family could wash itself. Um, yeah. 
And uh, as you are looking around in that, you are going to find uh, laying on the floor behind the tub is a small bottle. It's a tiny vial, actually, with a little spray top. Like a little, like, hmm. little mister on top. Okay. Yeah. And it's... Keiko's. It smells like perfume. Mm. Like a nice unisex, like, kind of flowery, kind of spicy scent. And it just, like, as you as you sniff at it, you're going to get this chill that starts at your scalp and just works its way down to your tailbone. Quite nice. Downstairs, nice. Zarya, uh, as you were looking around, what did you get on your percentile? Oh, I didn't roll one. Uh, Give me that to, to see what your what your ninety three. Ninety. Oh damn. Uh, yep. Ninety three. Um, okay. Well, uh, and uh, Christine, you rolled for percentiles for your weirdness as well. What'd you get? Uh, Thirteen. 13, okay. Uh, then it's going to be Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin, you look at the balcony and you, you have quite a nice view. You're able to see uh, over, quite a bit of ways over the district. You see um, oh, just the mountainside in the distance. And like the, the airflow through yours is quite good. It's, it's very lovely. As you look around, you'll find that there are a couple of things um, unique about your place. Um, the first is that there is a, um, well, there is a decent sized kitchen. It's got an island in the center of it, room to move around. Whoever lived here before you was into cooking from the looks of it. They seem like they completely remodeled the kitchen around the art of cooking. There is even quite a decent knife set left. Nothing particularly fancy. Uh, but what catches your attention is that over um, over above the um, uh, the oven and uh, and wood stove is like a little cabinet that is still stocked <coughs> with quite a few spices. Ooh. Uh, it even has garlic that has begun to try to take root into the wood of the cabinet. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and sitting next to it, kind of wrapped around some of the garlic stem, uh, is a small brown pouch. Hmm. Let's see what's in there. Uh, well, if you crack it open, uh, what you are going to see uh, is... Well, you open it, and hmm? it feels like there's something in it, but when you reach inside, it doesn't feel like anything you can't really see anything in there um it's at that point that you'll notice that the drawstring on the pouch has a little leather tag hanging off of it oh um and chiseled into this little like price tag sized uh tag is Heward's handy spice pouch <coughs> oh okay variety is the spice of life is on the back of it <laughs> That's awesome. So, if you want to, make me an arcana roll to see if you've heard of what these things do. I will try! I believe in you. Thank you. My dice don't believe in me as much. Uh, let me see here. That's, uh, 13. 13? Okay. Um, you're pretty sure this is like a prestidigitation thing. Hmm. Maybe if you try naming a spice. Mmm, cinnamon. Uh, as you say that and uh, and open the pouch, you will get a whiff of fresh cinnamon. <coughs> Too close. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. I'll close it up and put it in my bag. Sounds good. Uh, Zanata, your, your place is fairly large, right? This is the other large one? <laughs> yeah. So yours is very strange in its own way, in that the um, the room that you found is, well, that you were granted, um, it's not everyone else has like a bedroom and then quite a decent sized li living room. Yours is much more akin to a figure eight. It is an equal sized bedroom and living room. The living room actually feels a little bit tight 
for for having the kitchen in it as well uh, but the bedroom is incredibly spacious and you are going to have um, an immense bed in there uh, this is a a beautiful handcrafted four poster bed uh, that fits a um, ooh what are those called not the kings not the California kings the Alaska kings I think is what they're called that's like two so queen size beds yes. Yes, and as you look around, you'll see that is exactly what it was for. For as you push back the uh, <laughs> the curtains around the four-post bed, you will see that the headboard has no end of notches and marks from what appear to be ropes and manacles. All right. Useful. Obviously, uh, it's sturdy. <laughs> it is very sturdy. There is a footboard to match that uh, also has the same like chips taken out of it from like grinding metal along it. All right. Mm -hmm. She'll have to go at some point and go gather her stuff from probably wherever she was renting a room from. Mm -hmm. Do you say anything here. as you're inside of there? probably a comment to herself out loud of like that could be useful okay or something along those lines i don't that know sounds... she's, i don't think she's much in the habit of talking to herself out loud okay sounds good uh it is a lovely place though uh meanwhile upstairs dorlin you have yes sir your own toilet what you have your own toilet and bathroom. It's not the biggest place in the world, but guess what? You uh, you grab the top floor and you know, you know what they say about shit? Rolls downhill. Uh, so yes, you have your own bathroom with this strange mechanical device. It is a cord with a handle on it. I pull it. Water rushes out of the basin above you. Plumbing. Amazing. Well, I, I'm I'm enjoying this. Look out the window. I feel like I'm I'm on top of the world and like looking over, down on everything and seeing everything. Like not looking down, like being like, "Haha, I'm taller than you," but actually kind of like, "I'm up here." This is what Keiko must feel like all the time. Keiko, you can hear someone talking shit about you outside of your window. Dolan, is that you? No. It's Keiko's point of view. We'll go Keiko, the balcony directly above you is literally Dorland's. Uh, Keiko's gonna cast Mage Hand. Okay. <laughs> and then just like slowly open the balcony door with the Mage Hand. <laughs> and Hello? then it's gonna wave. It's gonna wave. I'm going to Hi. assume you're waving at the hand, Dolan. But hello, neighbor. How did you know? Or wait, how did you know? I'm just assuming you're a very ha a friendly person. So I'm assuming you would wave at the hand if it waved at you. Well, you would be right. But finally, I I know what it's like to be you. And always be how is it? looking... It's... You can see everything. I, I can, really, I can. There's a great view above. Like, it's, it's, it's wonderful. I don't think I ever want to leave. <laughs> we do have an adventure and people to rescue. Oh, shoot. We, we, we should get on that. Yeah, we really should. Oh, we also I need should... to find Dermot. Yeah, we need to find Dermot. I need to find Bodhi to let him know that he can have access to this place. I apologize for any noise you may hear. Oh, that's fine. That's why I'm above. That's true. The people below. I apologize might. for any noise you may hear. 
All right, Dolan. Uh, Sabina and Zarya, I need you to make me a luck check. Roll the d20. <laughs> uh, there are there are six apartments per floor in this house. So uh, <laughs> did you just roll a nat one? Oh, no! Did you just roll a nat one? A four. Okay. I rolled a 12. That's better than a four. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> okay. Wait, is Sabina on the third floor? Sabina's on the third floor, yeah. Mm. And that one, does that put her between Keiko and Zanata? Mm-hmm. Oh my was... goodness. Okay, so here, here's what's going to happen. Uh, okay, so I've rolled to see which room Keiko is in on a D6. And yep, Sabina's right underneath. <laughs> and Zanata. Uh, and I'll say this D6 has advantage because of that bad roll. Okay, so an adjacent wall diagonal. So not quite sandwich, because <laughs> Sabina got a four total, okay. which is not. Yeah. <laughs> but it does mean that there might be some. Uh... Mm. <laughs> if yes. the noise gets too loud, I'll just turn the Keiko box on. <laughs> there'll be multiples. I mean, yeah. <laughs> there will be multiples. Ke- Keiko knows how to cast mirror image on herself. God, Naruto, oh Naruto, Kadebujin no Jitsu, your husband. <laughs> oh, isn't, that what the, isn't that what uh, Zanata does? Echo Knight? That's oh, true. See, yeah, the, the, the Echo Knight can touch you. things. So long exactly. as nothing does a point of damage. So that just means that if Sonata, like goes full yeah. like dominatrix, like, yeah. no touching. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it can do damage, though. Oh, yeah, so it, it can, but no touching dom. back. Exactly, yeah. So. It just needs to be very dominant. <laughs> This is what we do here on the channel. We're... I don't feel like that's a problem for Zanata in the slightest. No, I don't mm. think so. All right. Uh, so you settle into your places and uh, Question gives you all of your keys. So, um, well, it looks like you're all set. It has a toilet. That's excellent. Oh, you got the one with the shitter. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I have a giant copper tub that I can relax in. Oh, that's uh, nice. Now, now here comes the uh, the trading game. <laughs> oh, I'm not giving that up. That thing's going to be very useful. I well, found some spices. Oh. A little baggie. Oh, I've had perfume also in my room, too. Oh, that's also very nice. Yes. I found an absolutely massive bed in my room. Ooh, that's also very oh, nice. Ooh, very nice. We should all think about something to leave behind for when we move away from here so that they can, like, the next person can find it and be like, what the hell? I see, I see. Right? It's a wonderful place. Um, anyway, so, uh, enjoy your time at the Cobalt Arms. I've decided this place is called the Cobalt Arms. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Cobalt Arms Apartments. Very fitting. Nice, nice. All right, I'm gonna have to the make CAA. a module supplement for, for drive through RPG. <laughs> the go. Cobalt Arms Apartment for when your game derails in Ankarel and they need a place to stay. <laughs> <laughs> There's also I'm the Apartments of All Sight. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Well, then you'd have Dork. to worry about, like, you know, cameras being in every room because they're all sight. Yeah. Oh. They're, uh, uh-huh. Does the Vermilion Dream have dorm rooms? It's the Vermilion uh-huh. Sweet Dream. It's it's a hotel. They charge you hourly or nightly. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> um, it's just a love hotel. <laughs> hotel Dream. Motel hotel, dream. The Hotel Vermilion Dream. Yeah. All right, Get so. lost in the motel vermilion dream. <laughs> a lovely place. All right. Not um, really. It's a lovely place. Uh, living it up. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? I should probably get back to my duties otherwise. Um, but, you know, treat the place nice and it'll treat you nice, right? Well, yes. I hope it'll treat me nice. Mm-mm. It probably will. Um, oh, and uh, you're over on two, right? 
You took the Zanata, you took number two? Yeah. <laughs> I'm across the hall in 2E. Oh, neighbors. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sabina, Ooh. I think I'm beneath you. Sorry about oh. any potential noise. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to wander off. <laughs> Oh wait! Oh, Sabina, I think you're under me. If, if that if that alphabetical thingy you're talking about, my also has the same letter. Does that mean I'm on top of you? I need to go <laughs> give fish to cats. I'll meet you back here shortly. <laughs> we should go <laughs> start find... walking away. We need to find <laughs> Sabina some magical um ear ear. Yeah, plugs. <laughs> some noise cancelling also... headphones of some sort. <laughs> yes, yes. We should grab everything from the step aside. I'm not sure if we brought everything with us. And to make sure that they know that we won't be coming back. Yes. And, Shira. Mm -hmm. and Shira. Yes. Yes. All right. You all head back mm -hmm. over to the step aside? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. While they're doing that, Zanata will head off and go get her stuff. Sounds good. Hey, does anybody know where uh, where Dermot might be staying? I don't think so. Mm. I mean, well, well if, they're, if they're with a vermilion dream, then they might be at that hotel that's mm. nearby. Uh, well, that got broken into. It's potentially an invasion of privacy, but there was something that I gave um, Irvin, and if they're staying together, then I could probably find them. Oh. Yeah, I I just want to give Dermot the eye and also mm. make sure they clean up their messes. Right. Well, we can do that uh, before or after the step aside. Yes, I also need to let Bodhi know about where to find these places so we could stop by the shop, which I think is somewhere somewhere near the Vermilion Dream. They well, were in what? the bazaar. Why don't we do that first? And, well, and see if it'll take a while. And then, because we know where our stuff is and where Bodhi is. So that shouldn't take too long. So let's yes. see about the other thing first and then we can grab yes. our stuff. Yes, that sounds good. See about where they're staying, <laughs> if we can yeah. find it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, all right. All right. All right. Um, I'd like to try to locate object on the um, little raven pin that I'd given Irvin back in Bazazan. Okay. Uh, rules for locate object allow you to... A thousand feet, I think. Ooh, for ten minutes. Fancy within a thousand feet of you. Uh, as you cast that, you are going to sense its direction. Ooh, hold All on. right. Any thickness of lead. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look <coughs> for centiles just to see if there's any random lead between you and a thousand feet. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna say that you have a 95% chance of there not being any lead. Okay. Okay, I was really worried that was like a 99. Um, okay. <laughs> well, it was not meant to be in that case. It was not meant to be. Nope. Um, <laughs> Casting the spell, you're going to expand your senses out and Whoop. feel sticks. the stick pulls you a bit further to the east. No, the west. It spins you around for a moment, mm. juts skyward, and then sp slams into the ground, Stoop. pointing down beneath on. Uh, it, it might be on the, on the fritz. Why? Um, well, it's pointing down. Didn't, didn't they say, didn't, what's his, a, a, a o, no, that's, that's not I o, a, e o, e o, e o, e o, e o, e o. Iwo wasn't didn't Iwo, Iwo say that Kaomoru was five hundred feet beneath Onkarel? 
Hmm. Oh, Perhaps we should move quickly. Yes, we, we might want to hurry this up. Well, we'll see them there. I suppose. Yes. Let's go get our stuff. Let's get our <laughs> stuff and go. Um. All right. So, where are you headed first? I think super quick Keiko's gonna just let Bodhi know what the situation is and then go to the step aside to get our stuff. By the time you make it down to Bodhi's shop, the place is in, I wouldn't say disrepair, but almost repair again. The walls are back up. There's fresh plaster everywhere. You can smell the sawdust in the air from the beams. And uh, there's a contingent of dwarf and gnome and halfling workers uh, working around the clock, at least around the sundial, uh, as you approach. Uh, Bodhi is sitting in the shade of his own building, sweating profusely. Um, stripped down to uh, stripped down to just his his uh, undervest and uh, and breeches. And as you approach, he'll brush his hair back. Uh, that kind of just like basically slaps back with the sweat. Let's be honest. Um, Don't you selfish lies? <laughs> well, hello there. I'm surprised you're doing uh, so. Uh -huh. Yes. No, please. You have voices. I was gonna say. No. Well, I think unfortunately you're gonna uh, have to not hear it for at least a, a few days, my love. But I was going to say I'm surprised you're working so hard after such the workout last night. Maybe that's why my um, my constitution is so lowered today. Mm. Um, but yes, um, uh, we are probably joining the Cobalt Soul. I briefly forgot what we were doing. Um, oh, yeah? Uh, yes, um, we're going to go... Is it nice, Buggers? Yeah, uh, very nice. Um, we have a place now. Free you know, lodging. Have, like, with the... Oh, free lodging. Yes, I have an apartment. Keiko will describe where the apartment is. Did, and I guess I'll need to get another key cut for you. Mm, um, it's on the other side of the city. That's almost, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, about 4,000 feet away. It's about a mile's walk. Oh, it's good for my constitution. I'm just, it's an option. Um, oh. We could, there's a oh, nice it? bed. Yeah. It's nice. Nice and a bed is tub. Nice. The bed is nice, and a nice big copper tub for that can actually fit myself in it. Hmm. Just you? I could probably make room for you. Might be a tight fit, but I love a tight fit. He's going to whisper, stage whisper to you. <laughs> Yes, yes. If so. Sabina is nearby, slightly louder. I love a tight fit. <laughs> She's probably Sabina just wherever she walked is, just away shivers. and That's... started towards the. Yeah, wherever the Sabina end, is, so she just gets gone. a cold shiver down her spine. It doesn't know why. <sighs> but yes, we're going to be going into Kyle Kelmaro to do some investigating. You mean the bloody undercity? The, 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 the drowned one? Yes. Love, you're brilliant and beautiful, but you don't have fucking gills. I'm assuming the cobalt soul will help us with that. Well, I... I... Cripes, be careful. I will. I promise. Are you coming back tonight? Yes, I think so. I don't think we're leaving right away. I think we'll probably you said move our stuff. The Cobalt Arms Apartments in... The Guided... guided. Dis yes. I'll we're the fifth, there. fourth floor. I'll be waiting there for you then. Don't make me wait long, alright? I won't. I promise I won't. Good. I know you have to get going, but before you do, I just mm. wanted to say, I'm yes. sorry. For 
I feel like I didn't give you quite the right amount of attention when you arrived out of the blue like that. I've been so focused on the bodega and recovering our initial investment. I just... You deserve to be paid attention to and celebrated. And I think I was wrapped up in my own head and I wanted to apologize for that. My love, you had... You've put so much work into the bodega, and it got so messed up, partly because of myself and my group for stuff we did, so it is partially my fault, which I am eternally sorry for, and I do plan on spending my lifetime making up for that. Mm. Um, Tears with tears. But... But it, I, I believe in you and trust in you and the ability of your... Well, I know of... you fucking do. I was just saying I was sorry for being a bit of a twat. Oh, it's, it's all right. We're all twats every once in a while. As long as you're like a twat only like 10% of the time. I maybe mean, 20. Maybe 25, you know? 30, on a bad, on a good... 30%, yeah. All right, now you can go fuck off. <laughs> I will. And if you're not, if you're not at the apartments by the time, I might do so by myself. Well, all right then. Be safe. Don't all drown. Right. What a useless way to die. Right. Especially for a singer. This is almost bloody ironic. Yeah, let's not. I'd rather not die, mm -hmm. ironically. No, and don't let Dorlin blow anything up. Unless it's funny. I d honestly, I don't know if I can honestly guarantee any sort of control that I have over Dorlin. Fair enough. Then I'll get back to work. I have to go watch Armistead over here before he um, does some damage to the foundation. Mm, yes, what don't want to do that. I'm quite good, I am. I've got my level, says a little halfling in the corner. You look quite level-headed there, halfling. Um, you're doing good work, and don't ruin my husband's shop. Thank you. I do my best, ma'am. I used to be a chimney sweep. I understand the way the construction works. I do, I do. Oh. How do you? You know what I they say about they. sweeps? They say they get back to fucking what? work. Go! <laughs> uh, meanwhile, across town, uh, there is... Um, Zanata, what kind of establishment were you staying at? Um, Probably cheapish boarding house type thing. She doesn't like to spend her money if she can avoid it. Fair. Uh, as you... As you go and grab your things, the, uh, the owner of the boarding house, uh, a tall, broad human woman with, um, with deeply tanned skin and bright kind of, like, husky blue eyes, will, uh, give you a look over. So that's it then. You're leaving. I uh, accepted a new job. Came with accommodation. Aye. Yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you someone dropped time. this off for you. Um, and uh, she'll hand you a small piece of paper that is sealed with wax. She'll open it and look. As per our previous discussion, Zanata, keep an eye on your new friends. There is... probably more going on than you expect. Signed uh, with a mark you'll recognize as the Scarbearer symbol. Hmm. Interesting. She will uh just burn that. <laughs> well, you're all paid up to the end of the month, so you can go if you like. I will. Enjoy the extra rent. Yeah. I think I will. 
think I will. <laughs> Meanwhile, you uh, are you doing anything else before you head over to the step aside to meet up with your compatriots? No, I think she'll pull everything out and get ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you manage. I feel like she things. probably has like a fancier set of armor, and then like the casual set that she, she wears to go kind of unnoticed a lot. The showy set and the not so showy set. Yeah, that works for me. You can grab your showy set, nice and oiled and ready to go, and head across the city. Now, Zarya Sabine and Dorla, is there anything you're doing before heading to the step aside? You kind of done a circuitous track, taking a carriage across the city over into the Suncut Bazaar uh, in order to quickly check in with Bodhi, and then probably bought some lunch there, some nice chicken kebabs with a nice with a nice tikka masala on top of them. Something with a nice little, like, mm, just a little sweetness to the spice. Wait, sorry, you said you got spices? Mm. What do I you do. think would go good with this? Uh. Can you can make it spicier? Um, sh sh sure. She's gonna pull out a random obscure tiefling spice that she knows. Oh, devil pepper. Yes, of course. Mmm, devil pepper. Uh, so this noxious black red flake that kind of looks it's about the size of coarse sea salt oh, that um, looks horrible it, put some on okay Dorland, she's gonna try to just dump it or dump a little bit like sprinkle spring sprinkle not dump dump but you know what okay. I mean Dorlin you can make me a constitution check make a constitution save <laughs> ooh a save okay uh, it's gonna be uh, DC 17 I was going to say 18, unfortunately. Uh, so you are not going to be sick, but you are definitely going to be the guy who's going, oh, 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 so th oh. This is going to have like the, the potency enough? of a, it's going to be like a dry scorpion pepper. <laughs> Chris, do you know what a scorpion pepper tastes like? <laughs> no, you give me like freaking be uh well not bell peppers but anything and oh, i'm personally so, like so, gone yeah. so so if let me try to describe it it tastes mm. slightly burnt and bitter okay but you lose like the ability to taste after a second because you're too busy focusing on the capsaicin burn uh, uh well um i uh, i can't taste my but Oh. Oh. It's good. Oh, that's isn't an it? experience. Mm. Uh. Anybody got some water? Or something? Mm. Wait. I do. <laughs> okay. Uh. And okay. one thing, Zarya. Devil pepper yes. is what it's known as in common in Infernal. It's known as Mother's Touch. <laughs> Perfect. That's so good. So. You know, just gonna put that out there. Excellent. I I have some hot sauce in the fridge that has a scorpionish name, so I want to go take a look at it and break. <laughs> nice. Uh, the next That's time I go big. to Vancouver, I'm making a special trip by the the spice shop. So <laughs> yes. if you need any hot sauces, let me know. I need some more Ghost in the Darkness. Sounds good. God, Sounds really so good. <laughs> good. You've had it's it. It's a very good. It's a very good hot sauce. It's. Uh, I have not had. It. Okay, I'll send you a link to it in a bit. Excellent. Is that the one you can get at Swanson Mills? Yeah. Let me know next time I'm coming over. Oh, I'll make a stop. Yeah. I never end up at Swanson Mills. Yeah, I'm going to make a special trip um, because not to derail us too much, I've survived the end. Which is like basically like this like 10 million Scoville hot sauce or some, some oh. ridiculous amount. Um, I literally, I I've never thought I was going, is, but... it feels Whoa, like even you're just, going into anaphylaxis. Even you just hey. saying that's making my, my mouth be like, nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. nope. Uh, oh my goodness, we have a good story. You weren't there with him when he did it. <laughs> Christine didn't know I was going to do it until I was in the middle of doing it. Oh, perfect. I got a t-shirt out and of it. And then you're talking about feeling hey. like you're going to die. That was yeah. not my most fun <laughs> experience ever. <laughs> <laughs> I was proud of myself because I survived a piece of bird pepper. Bird pepper's pretty good. Oh, sorry, chilies, it's only six rather. million scovels. Only six million. I haven't tried that. Only, though. Yeah. Dorlin likes spicy 
Chris cannot handle at all. <laughs> nice. Like, like uh, there was a one time where. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. we'll we'll talk we'll talk about that during the break. I think we'll continue on. Yeah, the um, anime right. convention. Oh yeah, that's a that's a. That's oh a story yeah. Break. All right. <laughs> so with that, uh, you'll gather your you gather your things. You'll head back to the step aside. Um, there, the um, now it is. Oh, what time of day is it right now? It is okay. Uh, it's a it's early afternoon by the time you get there. And uh, they're still in the middle of doing their lunch, but you'll be able to pull pull one of the owners aside and talk to them. You have to choose, though. Which one of them are you speaking to? But we've interacted more with um, the so druid. Irulant, who is um, um, right? the more the more like I I don't know woodsy of the two of them. Um, and, um, the Kalanau, who is, um, the, the, uh, the druidy husband. I feel like it was Erewhon we had talked to the most, but I might yeah. be wrong. Well, Kalanau talked to Sabina the most, so I that's... Say, I, I spoke with the druid the most, but I think everyone yeah. else has interacted with, um, Erewhon. So, Erewhon... I'm going to talk to a cat. <laughs> Uh, Irawan, uh, is happy to, uh, to see you off, and as you, you approach him, so you're leaving. Good. Good riddance to you. You've decided to join the Cobalt Soul. How, How did you tell? Know that? Because you're dressed, uh, very smartly. <laughs> I'd like to think I normally dress rather smart. I hope that you are doing, um, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing mm -hmm. good as well. I think that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, is um, there anything I can do for you before you head out? I've been keeping an eye on your special guest. She's been well watered, well fed. Good. Maybe we could have some of that dessert before we go. Mmm, I did the lunch rush right now. Uh, I think we'll probably fresh out. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. Come back. You're always welcome to come back. Your coin's always good here. Thank you. <laughs> it's not a problem at all. Um, I need to keep heading back to the rush, but you're welcome to check yourselves out. Um... You've paid up through the end of the week, so if you want to hang on to the rooms as a spare, just in case something happens, that's fine as well. Uh, alternatively, you can leave the keys. Excuse me. Uh, you can leave the keys, and uh, we'll take it from there. Thoughts? Um, I'm... I don't see any reason why we, like, I think I'm good. I think I'd rather just leave the keys and then you can sell mm -hmm. the room and get more fine. customers. Yeah, right. and we might might get into some trouble. So uh, I don't know if we'll be back in a week, to yes. be honest. Yes, we'd rather not get up to that. Mm. Have that hanging over your head. Of course. It's all good. It's, yeah, you guys have been very nice to us, so... Yeah, thanks. Like, yes. Rent them out. Of Get that extra coin. You deserve mm -hmm. it. That sounds great. Now, be well and be pleased. Be pleased. Hmm. Be pleased. Ah, Zanata, you made it as well. Good to see you. I did. How are you? Hmm. About to have several rooms to rent. Yeah, they're always in demand in Ankaral. Ah, uh, speak of the devil. Uh, around the corner, you'll see um, walking down from the upper restaurant uh, through the winding steps that lead through the center of the inn uh, is your ward. 
So uh, Shira uh, is there, and unfortunately, Doralyn, she is holding the last of the hollow. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Hi. You deserve good things too. And Dorlin will like, like, <laughs> with a sad kind of face, like trying to be nice about it, will turn around and walk away. What did I do? I think oh, you just wanted some yeah. dessert. It's. He'll, he'll get over it very quickly. Yes. Yes, he will get over it. Okay. Um, so you said you were potentially interested in in learning your magic, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we found um some people that are willing to um take you in and, and give you training. We we were were gonna be members as well, so it's not like we're going to just dump you with, with people. Um, but they're very knowledge focused, also fighty, I think, as well. Um, but they seem like very supporting and will be able to take care of you and help train your abilities. So if you won't hurt people anymore. Uh, yes, you can learn to control it and master mm -hmm. it. And okay. Perfect. I was also brought up in a communal setting for a little while, so it's 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 a good place. I wasn't here, but I'm sure it's a very good fit. A very good Why place. Why are you all dressed like you're in a gang? <laughs> oh, aren't they lovely? This is the place <laughs> that you're going to go. This isn't a cult, right? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Sabina like will come down from feeding the cat and not in these and be like... <laughs> See, you don't have to wear them. Oh, I'm gonna wear them. They look nice, but I just want it to be a cult. Oh, oh no. that's not. When do we leave? Um, as right soon now. as we're ready, get uh, mm -hmm. we can. I, we're just gonna all grab I stuff. literally don't have anything that I own that isn't on me right now. I'm ready to go anytime. That's right. All right. And with that, well, do you gather up your things and you gather up your party and go forth? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tally ho. Right. Adventure forth. You adventure forth uh, and you <laughs> head back to drop your things off. And then is it on with the mission? Making your way to the dig site. Yes. yes. Uh, or, Absolutely. well, don't like so. Um, we think the others are already down there. Mm hmm. Um, so we should be quick before they get yes. into too much trouble. Yes. More than they already have, probably. Knowing them. Yes. And that seems like the perfect place to take a quick break. Folks, we're going to be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is the part of the program we where, we, where we talk to you, the chat, and I stumble over my own tongue. Um, I'm just speaking backwards. Uh, uh, so, hey, folks, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, how are you all? You're all good? Good. I'm sleepy. Doing okay? Really? A little bit sleepy. Hmm. Well, 
I'm excited because we got a lot of games this month and I'm really excited uh, because I we recorded a pair of games now for our, for Patreon. They get it early and then you guys eventually get it. Um, but the damn thing is really complicated to edit. So it's like late later than I wanted it to be. Um, but it's going to be really good. I made Krista. I made fake production company logos. Oh my god. Because you didn't have enough to do. I know, oh. I know. Well, I usually I usually set like a 15 minute timer and it's like I kick a break to do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. 69 games. I have more games than that. We nice. Nice. But uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, what should we talk about for a couple minutes? Something that's fun. Anybody have any questions, comments, concerns oh, in the chat? Spicy story. They have a spicy story. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. So okay. Kelly was running this uh, panel thing at an anime convention one time. Fire request. And uh, it was <laughs> like, like basically just got a crap ton of random foods. And uh, the audience would, there were three of us standing there. I forget who the other two were. Um, it was me, and the Adrian, audience would... and, uh, and Peter. Peter Cho. Right. Right, and uh, the um, worst combination of human beings to have for dares. This is amazing. <laughs> um, We're the best. And, uh, so the audience <laughs> would basically like start voting and like picking stuff, and then make things for the rest of us to eat. And of course, being the person who was uh, out of everyone there, I think who was the least able to eat spicy things. I think I had something that just had everything spicy on there. Uh, nori and fish flakes and like um, candied bacon. And yeah, there was candied bacon. Yeah, and I just remember like eating it and Kelly just keeps looking at me. He's like, dude, are you okay? Dude, are you okay? And like, just like getting red in the face, starting to sweat and just, just like trying to hold on. I'm like, yep, I got this. I got this and then like near right before it was about to end I cracked and I was just like I need to use the washroom and like had to oh, like no! run out and like just mm. be like blah like and it was terrible it was absolutely terrible but I did it fair I've and I've only really been defeated by spice once and that was um we have a restaurant here called the noodle box you guys know it um but they used to have like spice levels that were much broader than they do now um, and they would literally have it goes to 11. They, they called it suicide level. Uh, and I got it once. Once. I missed two days of school because of it. Oh my um, goodness. Because I ate it and I ate like 90% of it and it hurt. <laughs> like it felt like someone was like tearing my gums apart with a crowbar. Like it was just like the capsaicin was like melting my flesh. And I, I, I was not driving that day, thankfully. Um, a buddy of mine was driving us there. He drove me home afterwards. And I will say, uh, it, have you ever seen the movie Alien or Aliens? And you know when an alien gets wounded and like the blood sizzles and it just goes, he keeps falling through the hulls? That's basically what happened. Yep. Because by the, in the time it took, the hour it took between eating it and making it home, it had burned a hole from top to bottom. Oh and I spent two days See, I enjoying recent what's that? A spicy story when you food poisoned me with spice oh. you deserved it just saying <laughs> I'm pretty sure we had to cancel well I think there was many reasons why people were at a sick for a game but I think a game got cancelled because you gave me spicy too spicy wow food. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kelly's just a little too spicy. You said bring it. Spicy. You said bring it. I did say bring it. I said bring it. And yeah. You brought it, and it was it was not great. I. You yeah. know what? The food did taste good, though. Like it, it tasted good. It was Can good. Confirm. It snuck up on you and like just melted my insides. What? That's fair. Can confirm what? though. Noodle box does have some spicy things. Oh. It used to. It's it's, they they really yeah. like they've toned it down so much. The the um, first time I went to Noodle Box, my ex had the hot like just had hot and i was like i'll have mild because those are way too big spice for me and like and he's a guy that really really likes spicy things yeah. and he was like i can't eat this this is this is uncomfortable mm. so 
yeah it's wild. See, i found with with hot there i can't have it in their their soup because i used to, i love getting their tom yum tom yum it's but different because it coats it, yeah, it coats. Mm -hmm, and I remember I, I ordered a hot pot once, and I was literally with like my mom, like we we're having family like out, outing mm -hmm. lunch, and I was like eating it, and they looked and they're like, "Robin, your lips are so swollen." Cause of course, it's soup too, so you so, can't like just like mm -hmm. eat it nicely. Yeah. It's just they're like, "Your lips are like so red and swollen." I'm like, "Hi, hey, so, this is too when, spicy." When it I live so in. Good. When I lived in uh, when I lived in the village, like there we have the, we have this nice little village near the water in, in our town. Um, when I lived there for a bit, um, this this place that's now like a, a taco restaurant, several different places around the city here, um, was at that point just a taco truck, and it moved in about the same time I did, which was fantastic because it meant I could walk two blocks and get tacos. And it was these two Canadian guys that married a pair of of Mexican women uh, who brought their entire family recipe background with them and so it was like the recipes and the guys did like most of the work uh, i think it was probably equal but like i always saw i always saw the dude there um but uh this included like a fresh habanero salsa recipe or habanero like and it was just it was literally just vinegar and ground habaneros and uh ooh, ooh, but just like at, at the end of it you look like steven tyler you're just like <laughs> very good did i just kill krista no. Oh, you're sneezing. Okay. Was it from the spicy food? <laughs> Too much pepper. Too much pepper. Too you many know, dogs. Too many dogs. It it really weirds me out. Like some people really think that spice tolerance is like like a bat I, I think it is a badge of honor, but I think people who go for it constantly is are you know? Like you like achieve it once. And then you can stop. Like I don't have to have that yeah. that six million Scoville sauce ever again. Thank God. I have the bragging rights. I'm not gonna go in and order it, right? Yeah. But it's like no, I'm I'm a total spice wimp for the most part. You're getting part. stronger. I'm okay at it. But funnily enough, so like my whole childhood as well, I was a spice wimp. And then we were in Hawaii with my brother's soccer team one time mm -hmm. and all staying in the same hotel, which happened to have like this like rec center open area like on like the fifth floor and it had a little restaurant and they decided that they were gonna get like everybody was gonna get food from there for like an evening they were gonna have a big like team dinner sort of thing and it was like these little clam shells of like noodles and rice and like other stuff it was you couldn't really say it was chinese or anything or hawaiian or anything like that it was this weird amalgamation but the noodles were these skinny little chow mein noodles and they were so spicy. Everyone was kind of like, kind of not liking them that much. And I think I ate like three servings of them. <laughs> My mouth was burning, but they were so fucking tasty. Yeah, we need to get you on that. Like we need to get you the right, the right spices. Cause you have been leveling up, like especially like, like a lot of like Asian chilies. Yes. You're really good with those. And I got to admit, yeah, like I'm I think from- part of it is I just don't particularly love like the spicy that comes with like Indian curry, particularly, Dude, or well, like I was gonna say, Mexican Indian and spicy. like Malaysian curry, like or not the curry, uh, Malaysian spices. Those kill me. I'm not. I am not physically designed to to take those. I can take anything that comes out of like South America, North America. But as soon as you get me like the 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 Indian equivalent of a jalapeno, I am just destroyed. I don't know what it is. It's it's they just they're they're rock yes. man. I'm a bit better when it comes to like spicy, like Szechuan or Thai. Szechuan's got a nice kick. Type food. So. It's that jam we got a little while ago. I'm curious, what is, someone just like asked noodles. me if I would be down for the hot wing challenge. And I'm trying to remember what is the, what is the hot ones, the name of their like death sauce? Do you guys no. remember? God, they've done a lot of seasons. Oh, Holy crap. No. I do not. The last dab. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so on hot ones, it's like their spiciest sauce. So the last dab is. is Do you know what hot ones? Hot ones no. is an interview show where you have to mm -hmm. eat chicken wings that get progressively hotter and still oh. continue the conversation. Oh, okay, thank you, Krista. <laughs> thank you. I was like, you're so saying hot ones, like I should know this is what that <laughs> means. <laughs> I thought everybody knew what it meant. So yeah, that's exactly. No. It. So it's a no. Carolina Reaper. Um. Just checking right now. Robin, doesn't your family grow Carolina Reapers? Yeah, we do. 
curious. They're on the deck right now, and the sunny weather is actually making them ripe. On the deck. So they might actually harvest them soon. So yes, well, everyone's okay. everyone's complaining about the hot October. My 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 parents' livelihood is, is might actually not bank get bankrupt by the early rains this year. So I'm I'm I am happy for the long the hot October that we are having right now. It's great. <laughs> it was like 32 degrees I saw driving around today outside. Oh. I was like, this is weird. I think this sign was lying because I don't think it's that hot, but I just one of the like signs was doing deliveries today said that it was like 32. And it was like, definitely so. warm. It yeah. was warm, but I don't think it was 32. I don't think it was 32 warm though, no. But I, So the sign lied, but... I think so, so. So No, it was only supposed to be like 22 or so today. Yeah. So, so real quick, just just answering what um, uh, what Raven with Bobbles was asking. So the last one's hot sauce, the current iteration of it appears to be between 2.5 and 3 million Scoville heat units. Uh, that's like the killer sauce they use. The the end sauce that I was talking about earlier is six. So I've literally I, I've beaten it. I've doubled it. I don't want to do it ever again. I will. I'll, I, I would do the hot ones one because it's half that. <laughs> and I think like, seriously, I can't explain this enough. When you have something that with that many Scoville units, <laughs> I felt my throat tighten. Like it felt like someone kicked me in the stomach. Like it was like, I, I started to get hiccups. I like it, it affects you. And then afterwards, like I had to like, like take a minute and just like lean on something. I got hiccups something. with a bird chili. It was bad enough. <laughs> I have You're... a proposal. Yeah. I'm terrified. So uh, it's, it's it's not. It's it's for my humiliation. So it's fine. <laughs> but I'm thinking. Well, I'm gonna. I'd say because we're going over to Vancouver for Nad Pod. Yeah. Yeah. So I will do the end. I will have Kelly film it, and if I hit my 1500 goal for extra life, I will release that video of me dying. Whoa. There you go. Y'all are spicy enough for me. I don't need any more spicy things. <laughs> I will have right. Kelly so film my entire reaction, crying, probably dying, and I will release that video if so, I meet my goal. If not, it's getting buried. And you'll really like it, Robin, <laughs> because after you yeah. go through it, um, yeah. I would I wouldn't know this from personal experience, but from everything I've heard, you get the tattoo high. Interesting. I did. I was like hopping and jumping around and acting like I had just, I, I, I was acting a like little Like he not up. scared the pants off of me. But then I was just like, yeah, let's go fight somebody. I'm like, don't get in a fight. Cause your adrenaline. I cannot spikes. take any more. It's so good. It's so good. Um, so anyway, uh, that sounds like great. Uh, speaking of which, hey guys, there's going to be Extra Life soon. Uh, and if you want to tell me what kind of games you want to see, um, I'm going to be running probably two games for it. I usually run the first and the last one. Uh, but that means there are going to be between 12 and 13 additional games that are going to be ran. So let us know what kind of stuff you like to help maybe influence some of the people who are running games. Tell us what kind of things you want. We're trying to see whether or not we can have raffle prizes and things like that this year. But it is a lot of organization and it's a, it's a lot of plates. I mean, we have... 14 or 15 games in three days that's a lot um and and so on so let us know and definitely come out and support us because it does you know help the kids yeah. uh, and actually you can donate right now to people by going to the link in the chat or if you're watching on youtube later uh you can go to extralife.org uh, extra-life.org slash team slash dork tales um and if you're watching this and it's like 2023 we renew this every year uh so definitely do it if you're in north america uh for sure you are going to be donating straight to kids uh in your nearest uh, Children's Miracle Network Hospital, and um, we don't get any money from it at all. And uh, it's a great cause, and it's tax deductible. So if you need an extra reason, to get, you get charity receipts. So it's it's all good. Extra life stuff starts in three days. How dare you say that? That's terrifying. Um, no, it's it's no, it's it November. For, yeah, it's it's no, no, it starts in no, thirty it's days. Thirty days from now. Thirty days has October. And on the 4th, we begin the slaughter. <laughs> yeah. So we're counting down to the 4th. Uh, may the 4th be with you. Oh. 
I don't want to get into that and how heated I am when people try to say Revenge of the Fifth instead of Revenge of the Sixth. It's so much an easier day and you're not stealing Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> and there should be a gap day. Anyway, right, sorry. I get so angry in May. <laughs> I get pointlessly angry. Um, all right. Our energy levels are super good. So, uh, yeah. all right. All right. Donkey Kong up. I'm on, uh, I'm on so many allergy meds, guys. Are you allergic no. to dogs? I'm, I'm allergic to cats, which I have one. I'm severely allergic to dust, which I am on a farm. <laughs> and I am allergic to dogs. Why are you go go leave in the morning oh first thing in the morning just just I, I am I am Good. leaving first thing in the morning but I needed to help my dad build a heater for his water system because his entire water system oh. it froze just like Krista it did froze <laughs> froze the internet all right so if oh well Krista's back but her audio isn't okay. <laughs> Good. Love all you, right, Krista. sounds good. We'll just mime the yep. rest of game for the podcast. It'll be good. Um, <laughs> all right, so folks, we're going to hop back in just one sec, uh, but definitely go to Extra Life. Even if you are watching later on YouTube, you can always donate um, to the team or to us individually because we I, we always re-register in January. So there's like a one-day window where you're not going to be able to donate to us. Um, yeah. And then uh, the last thing, so you're allergic to dogs. You're allergic to cats. You're not allergic to dogs. You're allergic to dust. I'm allergic to dust too. I hate it. Um, and uh, well, she's allergic to life on a farm. To life on yeah. a farm, which is too bad because you're cottage core. Mm -hmm. Um, damn it! There was something important I was going to say, and that was. <laughs> Krista yep. is swamp cottage core. Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, just that the bog witch. All right. <laughs> uh, oh, I was gonna say that the Super Mario Brothers movie trailer released. That's why, because we were talking about <laughs> there's something another one. We... Yeah, like the one where Chris Pratt is Mario. Wait, what? That it? Yeah, it's animated. It's by the guys who did Minions. Oh God! It looks good, actually. I watched the trailer today. Jen sent it to me. Huh. Uh, Jack Black is Bowser. What? Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. That, oh, and he's doing an actual Bowser voice. He's not doing Jack Black. He's doing Bowser, but voiced by Jack Black. It's actually pretty. Dope. Oh, that's cool. I'll throw watch the trailer yeah. after we're done. Do it, uh, because that's not that's that still not the best part it of it. Watching. The best part of it is who Luigi is voiced by. Charlie Ooh. Day. No. Do, 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 do. It's always sunny okay. in the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. Oh, crossover episode. Yeah. Uh, but yes, um, I think it is time for us to head into Call of the Nether Deep again, though, folks. Uh, so uh, the rest of the game, I think we've got probably about 30 minutes left in game, maybe 40 minutes. I want to get us to the place where next episode we can pick it right up with adventuring. Uh, but I'm seeing that everybody's uh, everybody's energy levels are a little low tonight because we're all pretty exhausted. I know that some of us, like, I mean, hell, two of us had to take, well, three of us, if you can include me, to already took last night off from streaming Vampire because of exhaustion and just life stuff. It's a holiday weekend coming up. Everybody's tired. So we're just going to power through, get as much of it done. Krista, try to survive. Um, you are great. Um, and you are great, dear viewer. Uh, Bones Coffee, Adventure Dice, and so on. Um, are you Are you actually Aww. just... Thank actually, you, Tara. What did Tara say? Tara, Tara just donated to my Extra Life page. Oh, thank you so very much. Also, Tara from Tara. Or is it Tara from Tara? Or is it Tara? Yeah. It is Tara from Tara. That's her. Yeah. Uh, as Tara mentioned in the chat that um, that they had cancer as a kid and thanked us for helping out with Extra Life and using our powers for good. We wouldn't be here without Extra Life uh, and me, Caitlin doing Extra Life and me getting all like, well, I'm going to do something true. I don't want to, you know, I've been like, I, I've been talking about starting a gaming channel for like three years now. Maybe I should do it. <laughs> I'm finally just being like, fine, I'll do it. Which is usually the step it takes. I just need like the leverage on the boulder, and then it's just all downhill from there. <sighs> it takes a while to get that that fucker going, though. Um, 
All right, so folks, ready to head back in the game? Let's do it. All right, five, four, three, two. Oh God, it's one of these. Okay, hold on. One sec, just gotta... There's multiple pages that I have to flip back and forth between because the beginning of the book is over here, or the beginning of the thing is over here, and the rest is over here. So, also, hi, Martlet Games. Good to see you guys. Um, all right. <clears throat> Ready? Two, one. Hello, and welcome back to Call of the Metadeep here on Dork Tales. You gather up your things and adventure forth. After getting... Shira set up with a cobalt soul and saying a goodbye with promises to meet up again later, as well as constant thank yous. You make your way to the dig site. Now, Kale Moro. <laughs> the Kale Moro excavation is quite a large-scale operation. As you make your way there... So I'm seeing if they actually have anything that explains what no it worries. looks like to you. While you're looking something up quick, um, did we just want to quickly divide the stuff that we bought? Because Keiko, I don't think she have all three health potions on her right now. Um, so I feel like we should div divide this up before we go into, like, a, a new terrain. <laughs> Should everyone who can't cast healing take a mm -hmm. healing potion? That's what I was wondering. So yeah, who can't cast so. healing on themselves? I think Zanata can And Dax. And Dax. And Dax. Yes. You yes. need to get him one of those like neck barrels, like a St. Bernard. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we oh go. Oh my god, yes. Oh, yes. That's amazing. Um, so can everyone else cast yeah. healing on themselves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Damn. All the potions are mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's yeah. when you can run around and no. stuff them in our One mouths when we go echo. down. One of them's <laughs> for the echo. echo. <laughs> your echo just like pulls out their rune blade, gets stabbed. Oh, I need healing. No. Oh my goodness. Sorry, deep cut. Deep I feel cut. like that's not possible. Get stabbed. Any hit point damage will pop them. They will have no time to request healing. I need, I need healing. That's just okay. what they say before they poof. That's just, I need healing. <laughs> exactly. I need it. <laughs> no, 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 no. The magic lasts long enough for them to get it out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 But that's it. Giggity. Nothing else. Giggity. Oh my god. All right. That's it. Nothing else. So no. All right. So Zanata has the healing potions. There we go. <laughs> you make your way to the Maw of Kale Moro. Now the Maw of Kale Moro is immense, huge cylindrical hole bored into the center. Well, into the side of the Sigil District. There. Pardon me one sec while I just. This book is slightly too, too spread out in places. Once upon a time, this area was a public square that had been converted into an excavation site. From here, the Alliance of All Side, or the Allegiance of All Side, conducts an exploration into what used to exist before Ankarel existed. The Maw is a 150-foot diameter roped-off hole, and you can see that there are quite a few Scarbearer veterans that patrol the, the rim of the Maw. Zanata, you'll actually recognize a few of them just casually from work, and hell, you've even probably done a little bit of security work here, minding the hole. Now it's... There's so many jokes about that in the break room, by the way. There is, there is. Uh, a ten foot wide path spirals down along the edge of the maw, descending hundreds of feet in the Kale Moro. And to give you a look at what I'm talking about here, please allow me to do so. I 
I can turn the pages. Turn the page. If I, could, if I could turn the page, this would be great. It's not turning. There we go. Oh! So, a that giant is... hole that spirals down, not unlike, say, like a lithium mine. Mm hmm. Bores into the center of the city. And as you approach the entrance, a pair of guards who are minding the front, an orc with, um, with shining, kind of like white skin, perhaps a genasi of some kind, and a dark skinned human woman take a step forward at you. The orc huffs up his nose a bit and runs a few fingers through the white braid that descends, the primate, the genasi, uh, the white braid that descends from his chin. Don't see you working today, Vosh. Not working with you, no. Hmm. Where? Is that a badge? I've decided to expand my horizons and try something new. Hmm. I'll still be cause... available for jobs. Now, don't cause any trouble, the female officer says, uh, and is going to just quickly check your badges. Since when have I caused trouble? Senka Bazaar, four months ago. Sand Herald District, yeah, four six months, months ago. ago. Oh, could you tell it's us about that? Months. I would love to hear about it. What kind of trouble did Zanata get into? Zanny got drunk and decided that it was time to start dancing on tables. Nobody oh, had Zanny. any objections. Zanny. Wait, oh. While I picking. Mean, that a good idea. Is, is that the nickname for her echo? And your nickname is. Is it the oh same one each God. time that you manifest, or is it like? Wait, were they dancing with each other? Before the fire, dancing yes. Dancing with yourself. Ah uh ah. -uh. Oh. Ooh, this is getting hot. <laughs> All right, your friends are funny. I don't know what you did to get hired by the Allegiance of All Sight, especially dressed like one of the Cobalt Souls, but. <laughs> Hey, I hope it pays well. Yeah, not too bad. Well. It's a new place to explore, so it'll be good. Yeah, just do yourself a favor, okay? Watch the edge. It's not my intent to die that way, that's for sure. <laughs> hope to see you again soon. All right, head through. Yeah, head through. It's all fine. Oh, okay. Do you have any other good stories? Well, she didn't mention she was dancing with me. I had Ooh. clothes on. Barely. <laughs> all right. Do you you joined the right party. <laughs> <laughs> Do you proceed down the hall? Mm -hmm. Yes, we proceeded to the hole. Let's, let's go into the hole. Let's into proceed the hole. into the hole. To the hole. Talk sure. <laughs> At least it's not an ash hole. It's That's true. true. Well, it always sucks when they're ashy. <laughs> is, it, is this hole quite gaping? It's, oh. it's the biggest hole you've ever been inside. Wow. Ooh. It's impressive, really. <laughs> but don't worry, there's room for all of you. No <laughs> this is a pretty big hole. Yes, it's mm -hmm. quite sizable, this hole. You make it's got nice edges. Good. Stick to those yeah. for now. All right, okay. enough edging in the hole. It's <laughs> an incredible feat of engineering. <laughs> I think you should <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, critical role status achieved. Critical role status achieved. <laughs> Whole jokes for five minutes straight. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, boy. oh, they went to an ash hole one time and they spent they. Oh, they ash hole come up for seasons day. now. It feels yeah. like. I'm yeah. sure it does. You make your way down along the immense spiral. Before long. You all. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. At least I'm muted. Chris okay. lost it first. Chris lost it, then I lost it, it lost but I forgot to mute, it. so I I'm sorry. Uh, same. I'm sorry. I tried to so mute. Sorry. I'm sorry. All right. I'm so immature. I'm sorry. <laughs> Going into holes, making your way down. Everyone, make me a dexterity check to not fall and die. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, 13. 13, you're, you live. 18. You live. 17. You live. Uh, 21. <laughs> you live. Uh, 18, and Dax rolled a 2. <gasps> oh. All right. Um, uh, he has, like, advantage. He's a cat. That's a so I will give Dax, that's I will give Dax advantage. <laughs> Dax is not that's part of the jokes. 8. Okay, uh, but with his decks, that's this is what happens. You make bad jokes, and your loved ones suffer. You're never oh, the one. Is that a total of eight, or is that with, with eight all day? No. Ooh, he rolled a four. He rolled a two, oh, and then a four. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what's going to happen is Dax is going to be walking ahead of you while you are all like giggling and laughing to yourself about all oh, the hole, all oh, the hole, and Dax is going to look over his shoulder to see what the joke is and go, and he's going to misstep and is going to scramble backwards in panic as he steps one paw off into the abyss and just hits his shoulder against the stair and scrambles back uh, so hard that uh, let's just see uh, okay uh, that is going to be marching order uh, who was behind Dax probably Dorlin would be close to the front if not okay right who there. is behind you then um, probably me. Okay. Uh, you are going to, uh, you're going to take four points of slashing damage as Dax pinwheels back, trying to escape the edge. He's going to claw you up like a terrified cat. All right. Six temporary hit points. <laughs> All right. All right. That, that could be worse then. Never mind. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, we have ten temporary nice. hit points. Well, so I, I were fine. Mine, so. yeah. yeah, I have less than that. Yeah. Dax is going to walk down with one of his ears touching the wall at all times from here on oh. in. You can see there's a bit of trauma in his eyes. If there was a good 200 foot drop there still. If there is enough room, Sabina will walk on the inside edge to there make is. sure it's that it's a ten doesn't... foot ridge. So you've got plenty okay, of space. Okay, then yes, she walks against him, keeping him pinned to the wall. He is going to occasionally reach out with his mouth, bite your clothes, and pull you closer to the wall just in case. Oh. Mm. Uh, all right, Dax. It's the spiral. There'd be another layer that you'd hit on the way down, so you wouldn't fall the whole way. Uh, and fact, would some rope help if we tied him to to us? I don't know, Dorlin. With some of the things I've seen you do, that might be more worrying. Yes, no, I, mean, I agree. You drag him I'm with I'm light. Him. Yes. Well, I said Dax some of us. Dax doesn't want leashes. Well, that's, that's all right. If we just keep going, I'm sure we'll be fine. Would it help yes. if, if Dax, if we explained it to Dax as if it was him having me on a leash? <laughs> He's not I mean, a fan of leashes on anyone, anyone, but... Oh, poor Dex. <laughs> All right. As you continue further down the hole, you descend a spiral staircase for hundreds of feet. Windows in the nearby wall offer glimpses 
of a sunken city beneath Ankarel. Magical lights illuminate several of its ruins, but most, most of the city's secrets are hidden. At the bottom of the staircase is a plain, windowless room containing boxes of archaeological tools and crates. Marked with the emblem of the allegiance of Allsight. Not far away is a passage that leads to a stone door, also marked with the allegiance's symbol. Leaning against the wall next to the door is an orc wearing the badge of an allegiance of Allsight. He doesn't appear to have noticed you. Before long, you'll make your way down to the very bottom of, of the hole. The orc that you see there is um, a bit a bit different than you expect. Thick set, bespectacled, lacking any tusks, and with a slight reddish complexion to his skin, but an orc nonetheless. Sits there, scratching himself and flipping through a notebook. What do you do? Excuse me. Ah! Oh. oh, what are you doing Hi. there? Uh, we're, we're, we're trying to find some insight or uh, uh, insight? an individual insight. named insight. We're, we're looking for professor. We're insight. supposed to be here and I'll show my badge and then. Put oh, it of, of, of course. Uh, you're dressed like members of the allegiance of all uh, of the, of the, of the cobalt soul. You've got the allegiance badges. Oh yeah. Mm. I mean, they were in the thrift shop and they looked ever so pretty. So, uh, Oh. We decided we need a team look, don't you know? The, that doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm a junior researcher, ma'am. I, I, I'm not paid enough to know what I'm supposed <laughs> to be knowing. We're here on official business, though. Yes. Hence um, the badges. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, of course. Uh, well, of, of course, of course. Um... Uh, well, nice to meet you all. Uh, uh, I can take you through. Um, please, um, uh, follow me when you have a moment. Um, uh, the further you come in, uh, it's is this your first time down here? Yes, mm -hmm. this is our first time. <laughs> oh, to be here on the first time again. Oh, what a treat. <laughs> uh -huh, I think you're going to like what you see in front I of you. I guess I'll take you over to uh, uh, to meet the professor. Um, uh, well, please, please to have you here. Um, uh, um, what are your names? My name's Gortag, uh, Gortag Ink Drinker. Ink Drinker. Good name. Mm. Good mm -hmm. name. Mm hmm mm hmm Come from a family of scholarly orcs, I do. Ah. Ooh. We're the dorky orcs. battle the dorky orcs. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's... Orc, orc dorks. Ooh. Oh, I, I, think I could work with something like that. Ah, the yeah. Dork I mean, there's already the song Orc Tales. It's a good one. Mm. Flashing, and also raving, orc pillaging Orc Tales. Do orcs orc have tales. tales? Oh, no, like stories. Oh, like, speaking of, you're going to have a really good story if you look around. So, uh, the important thing about learning about uh, Kale Moro uh, is uh, is that this place is a. Uh, oh, how to put it here? Um, It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Well, then let's see it. Are you sure you're I'm ready? I'm Sabina, by the way. Oh, uh, oh. nice to meet Can't you. Can't go. No one actually introduced us. I know, I was waiting. I tried no. to say something, but then he did orc tail jokes. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's a good joke. And then we went on. <laughs> I was just going to keep letting it go because I don't need to tell him my name. <laughs> Dorlin. Dorlin Wildrock. Professor. Er, yeah, Dor just call me Dorlin. Well, you're a professor as well. Oh, that's head. great. I'm going to hope to be a professor someday as well. Well, the next uh, what professor. What kind of professor are you? Natural sciences? Artificial sciences? Artificially natural oh, sciences? Artifi Naturally Let's artificial sciences. Check this sciences. out and, like, turn his armor on. Is there two oh of them? Oh my god, I was just going to say that as well. There are two of them. Oh, I'm Keiko Battle Composer Ska. And it was... Gork, Gork Mork or Ink Drinker? That's horribly offensive and a little bit racist, actually. 
What if I called you Nomi McSplosion? He's just really bad with no. He's just really bad with names. He's Nomi McSplosion. In general, I mean, across it's board. accurate. But you can see how it would be a little in, ex, in, insensitive. No, no, sorry, I was asking though. Like, what, what was it? it? I got the ink drinker part. Gortag. 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 Like a tag made of gore. If you go shopping and you pick up a gore tag, the, the sales clerk's gonna hit you with an axe. Oh. It's a gore tag. It's a gore tag. Okay. Right. Gore tag. I feel like I've lost the plot. Come from a Let's very keep going. Water <laughs> yeah, show us, water show us the goods. Armor you make. Uh, the gore tag family. <laughs> uh, well, it's it's more water resistant than anything, but uh, I'm surprised <laughs> mm. you knew about that. You you're a bard, aren't you? Bards know everything. Yes. No, we do. We really do. We hear stories. I've heard many of a Gortag um, empire. Well, especially the rainy coasts of Wildmount. Oh my goodness! I thought it was pronounced Wildmount. Why has it got an E in it then? It, it's right because, because it's fancy. Mm, is it? I think it pronounced it Wildmount then, if it was fancy. I see Probably. the one. See, this is see the orc gets it. You're struggling with it. You're almost there. You're close, but not quite there. Oh, oh, wait. Just tell something you. about being raised an orc. I mean, being raised an orc means that you just kind of you, you have an innate sense of culture. Orcs are very cultured, you know. Very wait till you so. meet with Zot, though. You and Zot are gonna get along like a house on fire. Oh, is that good? Uh, from as long experience, as houses on fire are generally not a good thing. That's what I was thinking. Well, anyway. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Shall uh, we? Yeah, I think it's time. Uh, please, come with me. Inside? What's that? Just say nothing. You say inside? <laughs> oh, you said inside. Oh, we're looking but... for Professor Inside. Boy, that's oh. going to be confusing as versus character versus player. <laughs> Being like, you could I would also like say, to so check you could ask with for Insight. Professor Insight. Uh, Insight's last name is um, uh, Insight Akuere. So A C U E R E. You know, I don't think that's going to be easier. <laughs> Professor Akuere. Akuere. Professor Tiefling. Akuere. Akuere. Professor Tiefling. We'd like your Tiefling as Tiefling. Please. I'm assuming that it's Akuere. It's not in the pronunciation guide, so it's either that or it's Akuere. But then it would oh. just be inside a queer. And I don't think that that's what they mean to say. Oh my goodness. That's like half Professor of our game right aquarium. there. Like, <laughs> I was going to oh say, I feel like goodness. I do that every day. Just call your girlfriend. <laughs> hey, I'm here to insight yeah. you. I just, I just look at myself in the mirror and I insight yeah, queer. I need, your, I need your passive, <laughs> your passive insight to queer. Uh, or your dominant insight to queer. Whatever works. Oh, there you, go, there you go. Are you saying insight or inside? Because I'm definitely hearing inside a queer. You know what? Back to game. Back, back to game. Oh, God. This is, this is where we should be right now. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Gore-Tex uh, leads you over to the door. <laughs> it's Gore-Tex. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. All right. He leads you to a set of double doors. And pushing them open, you are going to see that... Um, shimmering blue light extends ahead of you. The corridor is framed with it. This airtight tunnel ends before a door set into a wall of a submerged building. Above the doorway is a small stone cube inscribed with glowing blue symbols. Standing in front of the door are two, two guards, a human and a halfling, wearing allegiance of all sight, apparel, and badges. Verdant patches of kelp grow just outside the tunnel's shimmering wall and colorful fish float between the swaying strands. Uh, and it's here that I need to explain to you that this is not a tunnel of stone. As the door from the maw is opened, you find yourselves standing at the bottom of a sea. The walls of which undulate on the other side of this transparent, well, this translucent barrier. 
all around you. You can feel more than hear. It's strange. You can't hear anything coming through the blue walls. But you can see it. Dozens of fish, even an octopus nearby, uh, watches you and throws a rock in your direction, annoyed at your presence. The rock sails toward the transparent wall and bounces off harmlessly. A force field. You can see for quite a ways before the darkness or your dark vision give out. Oh, speaking of which, are we in? Comp is there no light? There is a uh, blue light that's shimmering from the uh, from the walls, and the okay. uh, uh, there are a pair of sconces over by the okay. two guards. Okay, because like, oh yeah, Dylan. Uh, if we ever if we ever get downtime again, uh. If you know how to make extra set of those dark vision goggles, I need some desperately because I cannot see in darkness still. And, uh... Hey. One moment, please. Who is the first to set foot inside of this tunnel? Oh, I... As soon as you described it, I, Dorland's reaching for it. <laughs> I was about to say, who do you freaking think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, big, big, big guess. Big guess. Okay. Uh, Dorlin, you can Death. walk through. Um, what do you do? So you are inside of this this tunnel. Can I breathe? Absolutely. It's like the wall is being held held away by a wall of force. So you haven't gone past the barrier. Yeah, you're not in water. The hallway. We're oh, in I'm going to try and that... touch the barrier and go right in. Yeah. If I, I can. Uh, Okay, one moment. <laughs> uh, Sorry, can I just confirm this is like the tunnel in the aquarium? Yeah, but yes. it's made of force. Okay. Yes. Glass. Okay. So Dolan's trying I, to I go just, into it, the ocean. Okay. Is so you're trying to go into the going. ocean? Where the barrier is? Yeah. Like, well, I'm trying to touch the barrier and see if I can push the, into it. Like, kind of like, Testing oh, that's cool. Science. And just like... All if right. I can go through it gently, like without too much force, he definitely will. Uh, yes, yes, you okay. may. Um, oh, no. you will feel a harmless tingling sensation and will walk out into the ocean. Uh, it does not flow back through toward Dorlin. Uh, Dorlin, let's see. Uh, -oh. uh can you do oh, me a favor? No. Uh, and make me a constitution saving throw, please. As of course, right. he'll go one way, but not the other. Are under uh, hundreds of feet of water suddenly. Twenty-three. Ooh, twenty-three. Sounds great. Um, one moment, please. The armor helped. <laughs> okay. Uh, you take a step through and are suddenly floating slightly in the water. Your armor's giving you a bit of weight uh, for the moment, but you're kind of like floating about an inch or two above the silt, and suddenly you're going to hear a little as a rock bounces off your armor and this octopus shakes a couple of, <laughs> of tend tendrils at you, a couple of tentacles at you. Boom. Uh, the rest oh, of you. What the heck? Uh, and can I get you to do me a big favor? Um, can you make me a wisdom saving throw, Caitlin? Yeah. Good job. Um, 17. 17? I didn't roll great. Okay. As soon as you step in, you see Dorlin float through the side of the wall and that pent up little like, oh, what a, what a punk. <laughs> um, you take a step in and the moment your foot touches down inside of the tunnel, there is going to be a shiver inside of your mind. It sounds familiar. Very familiar. It sounds like the voice that you encountered in your visions. Hmm. But distorted, stretched. Grateful, righteous, you hear in your head, Zarya. They've forgotten all I have done for them. All that I have done. A cloud overtakes your mind for a moment and a powerful emotion 
echoes through you for a moment, and then is gone. Sorry, the rest you were right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think we should continue. I Can we get him back in here? Is he going to drown? Sonata him? will try and reach a hand out through it and grab him and pull. She does not want to go out herself, just a hand. Yeah, you don't have to worry about accidentally falling through. You should be fine, says one of the guards ahead of you. Uh, so you're going to be able to reach through, grab Dorland by the back of the neck, and just him back through. <laughs> Yep. Uh, no water comes with him. He comes oh. out. Is he uh, wet? He is like. <laughs> he is as damp as a wrung out sponge. Just slightly soggy. Okay, like slightly just soggy. like like the barest <laughs> touch of. Actually, wait. You know what? I don't even think it's that much. Uh, no, it's not. Wow. He's completely dry when he comes out. Hmm. Oh Except for the inside of his mouth, it's still moist. <laughs> this is what no, I was talking about. Innards. His innards are still. They they wrote specifically around people trying to do that. Yeah, and it's it's my favorite part of the book is is <laughs> what they did with that. Um, so as you are popped back through, um, well, that was fun. Dolan, you can't just go swimming out into the ocean just by yourself. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. I mean, yes. you could, but you might not. Come back. My, yeah. Buddy system. And th yeah. sorry, as or as not as my buddy. Thank well, you. It's oh, true. there you go. Hmm. Did you believe? Zanata, you're going no, swimming with really. Dolan. I am not going swimming. Well, you have to just kind of sit between your buddies, then, okay? Sabina's buddy is Dax, and she's walked forward to meet the guards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are two of them. There's a halfling. So now I was kind of giving woman. you guys a look of how dare you buddy her up with Dorland. Oh, Zarya <laughs> will high five Keiko. Yeah, Keiko, <laughs> yeah, they high five each other. It's like so. The we'll two, make a the good two, team. The two guards <laughs> up ahead of you. The the halfling woman is uh, is definitely a stout halfling uh, with sunburned skin and uh, and freckles on the end of her nose, but uh, very dark kind of kinky hair. Um, and a pair of big round glasses. Um, looks like she lifts weights pretty hard. Uh, the other is a tall, lanky guy with decently broad shoulders uh, for his build and uh, big, big mane of black hair uh, that's kind of pulled back to the nape of his neck into kind of like like a big poof pony. Nice. He kind of looks he's over. Human? He's human. Yeah, he's human. Oh no. My my my! Hello. What do we have here? Hi, I'm Sabina Morden. Um, I'm, I'm Cal. Hi, Cal. It's lovely to meet you. It's literally um, in the book, so I'm using him. Sorry. That's very good. I'm Cal. <laughs> I was like, did you make Cal Kai's cousin in this realm? <laughs> no, this is literally just Cal, like our friend Cal. Now. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> because his name's I Cal. I approve of this greatly. Um, I'm Cal. Um, uh, yes, is um, we're here to see Professor Insight. That shouldn't be a problem, says uh, the other one. I'm Nadia. You're uh, I'm... not with the All Sight. You're with uh, the Cobalt Soul, are you? Yes, but we're here to help. All right. If you're really here to help, what do you want from Insight? I'd like some insight from Insight. Mm. <laughs> That's not bad. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. One sec. Does Insight know you're coming? I'll check. I believe so. I believe so. Probably. Probably. She may not know so. we specifically are coming, but I believe she knows folks from the Cobalt Soul are coming. One moment. Let me just do a quick Insight check. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my around. god. That was beautiful. Well done, Kelly. You I get a point it. of inspiration. I get a point of inspiration. Wait, is that another tiefling? Uh, oh, yeah. no. Inspiration. No. No, you got another one called base more. attack yeah. bonus. I'm gonna... <laughs> oh Maybe even one, a really old one called Thacko. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Thacko the Clown exists in Wild Beyond the Witchlight. Yep. Yep. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah. talk later. He's a character. We'll yep. He's a, yeah. He sure is. I played him like he Danny DeVito. Good. It was great. Um, <laughs> all right. And uh, with that, 
he turns and opens the door. Uh, oh, duh. <laughs> and pushes through the barrier that is erected on the other side of the door. The, the door is pushed through well. Um, he, he pauses at the door, looks back, soundproofed, and he sticks his head through with a... <laughs> You see that he's gesticulating and talking as half his body is stuck through. And then he leans back. Uh. And... Inside is expecting you. Perfect. Thank you, Tal. Um, yeah, no problem. Right this way. We'll follow him. Do you head into the main area? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I've done this Absolutely. before. All right. Absolutely. You step through, and once again, the barrier between the two rooms, that blue shimmering, it's basically an airlock made of holographic material. And once you pass through it again, there is a shiver. And then you are inside a completely different type of architecture. The sound of, well, the feeling of pressure around you alleviates slightly. And you find yourself in a storage building. Three floors connected by a spiral staircase. The archaeologists are using the shelf space to store journals, recovered relics, and excavation equipment. Windows warded by barriers of shimmering blue light offer views of the underwater cavern outside of the structure. Three individuals wearing legions of all-sight garb and badges, a tiefling, a goliath, and a kenku, bustle about the space, engrossed in their work. And it is at that point that the um, the tiefling turns and looks at you. Uh, now, the tiefling is a red-skinned tiefling with very prominent upper teeth, a long red curly tail, uh, red horns that jut a good hand finger width above her head, and a mane of chaotic black hair. I love her art so much. Oh, nice. She is You're literally so good. Oct That's uh, awesome. Olivia oh, Octavius. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. From totally. Spider Verse, right? Yeah. yeah. She turns, adjusts her glasses, and looks at you. Oh, hiya! Hello. Uh, so you're the ones who are here to, um, hmm. Uh, ooh, grunt work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, so I'm inside uh, Akuere, uh, and um, let's see. Uh, you are... They didn't give me your name. They didn't give me your names. All right. Uh, who would you be? The Echoes of Valor. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the Echoes, Echoes of Valor. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea who you are, but you're from the Cobalt Soul and you're wearing my badges, right? Yes. Great. Yes. Um, so, so Jamal sent you to me. Great, great, great. Are you useful? Do you do things? Do you do tricks? You have music. That's going to be entertaining. I, I like music, don't get me wrong. Um, what are you... Hi, nice to meet you. Who are you? I'm Sabina Mord and this is Dax. Hello, Dax. Dax is a moorbounder, I see. Ooh, but not a barbed moorbounder. One of the sleek original models. Wow. Excellent. Um... Let's see, you're Zanata Vash, I recognize you, and the rest of you. Uh, Professor, um, or ex-Professor Dorlin Wildrock, pleased to meet you, and he sticks out his hand. Oh, you're very friendly. <laughs> oh, uh, Thank you. You're the one that walked out into so, the water. <laughs> I had to suck had to see it for myself. I really respect that. I really do. Don't die because then I have to return your body, though. <laughs> That's why we have a buddy system. Right, Zanata? The buddy system is the second best system after the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> What's Actually, that? That's a very good way of uh, 
uh, organizing research, and he'll start going off on the Dewey Decibel. Sorry, system. sorry, um, Professor Insight, I'm Keiko Scott. Also, it looks like your 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 glasses are a bit fogged up. You're a bit fuzzy. I can't quite see your face. Oh, probably. sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> she polishes her glasses off. Is that better? Is that? Yes, yes, much better. Yeah. Oh, now so you're I can fuzzy. See your Hold on, let me put them back on. There we go. There we. Aha. Uh -huh. There. Ah, uh, um, look at your beautiful eyes. There we go. Oh, aren't you a charmer? I'm sorry, but I'm married to my work. That's me too. You're married to my work? That cheating? <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't hear the married to your work part. I'm actually married. <laughs> oh, honey, no so man does. can handle my stress levels. Anyway, <laughs> um, and you, you notice that as she adjusts her glasses that um, it's hard to tell with that color of red skin, but she got bags under her eyes oh. and it looks like she is existing on coffee alone. Oh, mood. So, um, um, so nice to meet you, Zanata. Um, ooh, what is that? My name is Zavria. No, the thing you're wearing, it's very pretty. It's, it's oh. between your, um, your bubbies. Yes. <laughs> it's, 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 it's. <laughs> That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's the one. It's probably exactly what you think it is. This is the one the Prolix was talking about. Ah. Uh. Mm. Mm. Oh, can I touch it? I mean, mm, no, um, look, look, probably look, look, best look, not to look, but don't touch inside. It's fine. Mm -hmm. leave, leave only memories. Um, so, um, I'm sorry. It's been a very, very taxing uh, bit of research. Uh, period. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so let me see. 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 Um, so, whew, you're here to work for me. Great. Unfortunately, I don't know you, and I would really like the chance to get to know you and to prove your worth. You know how it is with these things. If you were with the Allegiance of All Side from the beginning, then I could definitely trust you. Uh, but because you're not, I'm going to have to ask for a small favor to prove that you're good-hearted and pure, and I just really need it done. If you don't mind, I'll give you some coffee. Um, so, um, well, my companions right now are searching for the writings of an ancient hero who tried to save Kale Moro from destruction during the Calamity. Uh, earlier Elixir. Gesundheit. <laughs> I think that's who we are looking for, Professor. We hear a voice <laughs> for overhead uh, as a, pardon me, <clears throat> it, it should not be like, it should be, I believe that is who we are looking for, Professor, says a feminine-ish voice from overhead. Uh, looking up, you are going to see that there is a, um, there is an actual Goliath up there on the second floor, dressed in Allegiance of All Sight robes. Um, and I gotta be honest, her, her skin is kind of like um, like a gray blue. She looks just like Nebula in the art. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Uh, and is up there having a very animated conversation mm. with a with a with a Kenku. And now that I have the Nebula comparison in my head, hmm, I <laughs> that's who we are trying to locate, Professor. Says the Kenku. I believe that's who we are trying to locate, Professor. Says the Kenku. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Another Goliath, huh? Yes, another Goliath. I am a Goliath, and so are you. Congratulations, you have eyes. What tribe are you from? Um, unaffiliated. Hmm. Hmm. That's fair. Me too. Zot. Keiko. Hmm. We'll trade stories later. I, I would love to. This is Scribble. <laughs> this is Scribble, the Kenku says, repeating with perfect <laughs> mimicry and, and touching their chest. Um, 
If you need anything for your expedition, please let me know. Scribble will nod mm -hmm. and say, please let her know. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, yeah, and okay, so looking for, yeah, sure, Elixian. Perhaps maybe that's the hero uh, that we're talking about, Insight says. Um, so, um, mm, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, what I need from you is, um, well, um, we found dozens of stone tablets from uh, the period in question uh, at the south end of the excavation site. Uh, so through this tunnel and, and, and south. Um, unfortunately, though, my team, we no longer have the, um, the, the force. The force is no longer with us, and we cannot um, really venture in to fight the dangerous creatures that lurk down there. If you can go and find any more of these tablets, I will be very grateful and can answer any questions you might have related to Kale Moro or to many things, actually. I'm quite well learned. Um... So you don't have the, the the force field up. How are we oh. supposed to go in there? Oh, we have the force field up. Oh, you just said you weren't with the force. I don't have the the, 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 the force of arms. Oh. Ooh. I thought I thought you were talking about the magical force, not the, the, the people. That's what we're here for. Yes, we're you brought the, the force, people. of course. <laughs> Oh, with the method. Ooh, with um, the... Okay, I, I I think we we can do this, right? We've we've done stuff like this before. Um, how are we gonna breathe? Well, about that. Um, if you're heading down to the, the to the um uh, to the excavation site, it shouldn't be much of a problem, really. Uh, yes. Well, I, I actually I, I I do have something for you. Um. Uh, if you're doing this work for me, I suppose it would be the best to let you drown. Uh, Much appreciated. Honestly, we wouldn't get it be as efficient if we were drowning. So, uh, please come with me. She turns and takes you up the spiral staircase, moving to the third floor. There you can see that... Uh, Several holes in the roof are covered by magical barriers of blue forts, thanks to a similar little, little square hidden on the floor. It's not hidden on this floor. It's just tucked around the way. Uh, the former attic that you're in contains six crates, a dozen casks, probably of fresh water, at least one that's looking at it, um, and six cots with soft pillows and blankets that look like they'll actually be quite comfortable. There's an unlocked wooden case nearby that she'll pop the lid on it. Let's see, let's see. Um, well, let's see. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, this is a breathing bubble. And reaching down, she will hold up a big bubble. Uh, it's about the size of like, a little bigger than a basketball. So I'll reach for it. Oh, just, just, just allow me, allow me, allow me, and she'll go, whoop, 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 and we'll pop it on your head like a helmet. <laughs> Can you so, hear me? Mm hmm. Yes. Unfortunately, yes. We can still hear you, Dolan. Mm hmm. That's. Could you make it nice. muffle the sound a little bit? <laughs> Unfortunately, not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We could work on that though. Uh, so. When it's not being worn, it retains its bubble shape. So there are two ways we can do this. We can either have it be like a big dome bubble, or we can have it kind of like condom, like shrink wrap to your face. Which one would you rather have? <laughs> Let's use the word condom, condom bubble. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I, I sank that one. Let's see. Yeah. So I only have I only have two of the breathing bubbles, um, oh. but I do have these. <laughs> And uh, reaching in, she will pull out three potions of water breathing. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, actually, hold on one moment. 
to... Uh, I do have one more of these. Um, but it's shaped funny, and I don't know if it would really work mm -hmm. on one of you. It might work on your cat, though. Oh, there we Reaches go. down and pulls up uh, this kind of, like, oblong kind of undulating bubble. It's perfectly fine. I think it just got got shaken up in transit. It, it'll... It, <laughs> it's structurally stable, though. Oh, did you use Goblin Postal Service again? It's terrible. GPS? Are you never, mm. never yeah. trust oh, that no. thing. Not nearly as bad as universal planar sending. Oh, that's true. That's terrible. Mm. Never trust those guys either. I always go with fed up. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what the other options make you, right? Uh-huh. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I always... Uh, either that or... Um, or... Well... Never mind. Never mind. Let's not, let's not discuss that. Um, so... <laughs> All right, everyone, here you are. Enjoy. Everybody take a deep breath, and are you ready to go into certain danger? I know you yes. are. Yes. Absolutely. That's so exciting. Yeah. Wonderful. Fact, Absolutely wonderful. I do that all the time. Yes. Then this is going to be a lot of fun. And let's call game there. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, because I get to end it going... All right, so, folks... Thank you so much for... Did I defocus my camera? No. Cool. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Call of the Nether Deep. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be back in just one, two, three, four, five days time on Tuesday next week uh, with our normal night. I hope you tune in and join us because it's going to be the exploration. So far, what do you guys think of Kale Morrow? Just this part of it. It's pretty. pretty cool. It's it's I like, like the feel of it. I'm muted, but it's very neat. I do yeah. love the vibe. I hope you I hope you all are enjoying the constantly undulating and changing backgrounds I've been using too for the zoom. Yeah, no, it's so been like, great. I've been honestly, noticing. I haven't been looking at that that often. Watch, watch it on the review, mean... Krista. You'll think it's pretty cool. I've got like that. moving backgrounds and stuff. It's pretty. Oh good. wow, those fish. are those are neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my keep, stream keep... froze a while ago, so eh, that's all right. Ooh. Do that later. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> nice. All right, folks, you are all amazing. Technology is great. You are all amazing. <laughs> And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic couple of days. Up here in Canada, it is Thanksgiving weekend, which is on a Monday. I'm American, so this is really weird Ooh. to me because Thanksgiving is after Halloween. Having two holidays in one month, and one of them being Halloween, that's not giving Halloween enough space. Halloween needs an entire month to itself, in my opinion. That's just me. Um, that's fair. But it means that we get a stat in October. And isn't your Thanksgiving yeah. on a Thursday? Yeah. Yeah, which means you get a four-day weekend. Which is weird. Four day weekend. Yeah, four. You don't get two. You don't get one. Get two paid staff. <laughs> uh, I mean, we get a four day weekend at Easter. No, we don't. No. No. Uh, Why not? Some people. Only one no, you do. I don't. I, you do. As a one of them is the real university. Stat. Only one of them is a real stat. Yeah. yeah. Only one of them. Yeah. Is a stat. The other. Well, yeah. The other one's an imposter. Shoot it. Mine's um, a super stat. It's super stat. Uh, all right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we have a fantastic uh, weekend of, of hopefully not being killed by our families um, or being killed by our families or killing them first. But anyway, seriously, um, it's going to be it's going to be a long, exhausting weekend, but it's going to be great to come back and play games on Tuesday. Uh, but that's not the next time we're going to be here. We're actually going to be here on Saturday night with the return of Mage the Ascension, the Victorian era. Uh, and if you have not been watching that game, you are truly missing out. So definitely tune in as they go toe to toe with a Frankenstein's monster. Uh, in the Victorian era, it's going to be fantabulous. Uh, with that, I have to say thank you so much to all of you out there. If you like this channel, if you like what we do here and you like the stories we tell, please subscribe if you're on YouTube. Uh, it really does help the channel. Leave comments because it really helps us. Leave likes. Um, subscribe if you're on Twitch or follow if you're on Twitch. It's great. Um, every dollar that is put into the channel helps it continue to strive and grow. Um, there are always... The bigger the channel gets, the more the expenses mount. Um, and... So it's always fantastic to have new people join the Patreon. And thank you so much to everybody who just joined. Um, big shout out to um, the, the the main Patreon uh, supporters, like the big the big dogs. 
uh like uh that's a weird thing to call them but um <laughs> i'm tired um so uh big thank you to my world builder shulton who is busy at work helping me build parts of elos our homebrew world uh my divine producer dm michael gray the great and benevolent who is uh really helped me refocus down on narration versus versus visual presentation for the most part i can never thank him enough for that uh soul omen the demonic producer and maker of monsters who sends me the creepiest art and i really want to use i really want to use your art that you did for uh for uh vampire the requiem in a vampire the requiem thumbnail but I got to double check. That's not going to be too creepy to put as a thumbnail. Uh, and Ooh, also, I, I personally needed some of that art spoilered because it was too much it was, for it me. It was a bit much. It was a bit much. <laughs> it was good, but it was creepy and gross. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and Precarious, who you can see Precarious uh, run a game with uh, Trezelta, Michael, and some of our Patreon supporters and, and Discord members over on uh, twitch.tv slash Precarious on Friday nights. Uh, like five or five or six, something like that. I forget. It's five or six Pacific. Um, but it's, I it's absolutely. I think it's 5 p.m. Pacific. And. Um, yeah, and uh, of course the princes of the Patreon are also wonderful people like Trezelta, the Traveler, Cubby Gummy, Eolus, Amberthist, Buddy, and Terran. And also a big thank you to uh, Raven with Bobbles in the chat right now, who's a new patron over at patreon.com slash uh, but also sent a, a lovely and incredibly meticulously designed list of songs that could power bard spells, basically. Like, uh, what was hit me with your best shot? Because hit me with no, it's it's um, Isn't that like Blade uh, Ward or something. It was Blade Ward, I think. Yes, it was yeah, for Blade, Blade Ward. Ward. Yeah, I'm trying. But... I was singing it in my head because it was so good. Because I love that song. Because <laughs> like our our chat and uh, like our our private chat was sent that earlier today. Like for the entire Dork Tales team, and everybody's been buzzing yeah. about it. Oh, so. it was hit me yeah. with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. I'm warding my blade. Oh, that's it's... right. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. It's cute. It's cute. So congratulations. You did great work and you should feel good about yourself. Um, mm -hmm. So folks, that's going to be it for us tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're listening on podcast, know that we love you as well. Sorry that you can't see the, the glowy stuff. Uh, but there's always next time. I am very tired all of a sudden. <laughs> I mm -hmm. am so tired. <laughs> all right. So with that, we will talk to you later. Have a great night, everybody. And we'll see you in the next one.